everyone welcome to the sugar and crumbs kitchen so we have natalie back in the kitchen just love it when she's here maria what's wrong with the camera now i've Nothing. just seen her jump on it Nothing. they're so funny these girls when they're behind the camera you see them <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow natalie's here in the kitchen so did you see her do her live a couple of weeks ago of course you did and did you have a nightmare with your internet a little bit <laughs> It so we said, get back up here. It was a slightly stressful experience. <laughs> so we said, get back up here and we'll show you how to do it. Anyhow, but it was a fantastic live. And the most amazing thing was, was how loyal you girls, guys were, girls and guys were. So. Weren't you brilliant? Swapping to Natalie's page, back to our page, back again. Absolutely fabulous. So in the kitchen, we have the lovely Natalie. We have Maria and Laura in the kitchen. Hi, girls. Hi. And we have Natalie's hubby in the kitchen. He was the one who flashed himself at you at her house. <laughs> Not why. <mine. laughs> <laughs> so normally it was really quite funny because I was watching. And normally whenever I see Christopher, he's always got this lovely big top hat on. You always see him with that on. I have seen him with a cap, but I've actually never seen him without a cap. So um, so it was quite amazing to actually watch him on the night. Woo! There he is, simple. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Natalie is here to talk about her wonderful book that so many of you have bought. It's been great, hasn't it? It has. Thank you. I, I, I can't say it enough from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all for all your support and, and encouragement and stuff. With the Even if I didn't do Sugar Flowers, which I don't anyhow, but I'd buy the book just because of how pretty it is. It's so beautiful, that cover, isn't it? And I've actually seen this frame in real life and all of you at the cake shows have seen it. Well, you were there in uh, March, weren't you? Yeah. So it's a shame they didn't bring it tonight, actually, I sure didn't think. Oh, but it's, it's a monster to transport. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's about beautiful. Speak. It's on the and wall, actually. Yeah, it's, 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 it's on the live. We've it got there. it on the wall at home. Yeah. yeah, it's a pig to transport about. But it's beautiful in the flesh and um, everything in this book. So you guys who've got it, you know, I'm sure I've, I've already seen or everybody who said that they absolutely love it, who love it. And it's so bright and colourful and detailed and and it's just you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, there is a little typo error. I mentioned it last night. So there's a tiny little typo error, error, but the perfectionist that this young lady <laughs> is, she wants to send you a little amendment. So we have actually got the whole mailing list together and you'll be getting something in the post in the next few days as soon as Christopher gets back home and starts <laughs> writing out all the envelopes. So when you get this strange little envelope with this little sheet of paper in, then you know what it is. So it's very good at them to, to actually find it and not only that, they want to make sure they put it right for you. So it's quite important. And it's isn't just it? it was just the first few we sent out. So anybody that's ordered one in the last week, give or take, it's already got an extra bit in it on the right page with yeah. the correction. It like Carol said. They've been through our books in our warehouse today. Do, phone, do, do, so, yeah. do. They've all gone in. Done. So fabulous book. So that's that. Then we're gonna do a prize. Should we do this now or should we wait till the end? Should we keep them in suspension? Do it now? No. Wait till the end? That'll no. stay with us. Wait to the end. So, if you remember when Natalie did her live um, at home, she did a, a like and share. You shared the video. So, we've actually gone in, seen how many of you shared it, and then they've all gone in the pot. So, we have a nice little pot full here. Well, actually, it's quite a decent pot full, actually. <laughs> yeah. Over 200 of you actually shared it, wasn't it? So, which was fantastic. So, she'll be picking a winner out of this just before we finish this evening. So, that's the little pink tub. <laughs> so, we'll put that... Where should we put that? We'll put the pink one there. And then we have a brown tub because we're also going to do the draw for the... Um, we got more than you, actually. More likes and shares. So, <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> so we um, are going to do a draw for this. And this was for three nifty nozzles and a bag of flavoured ice and sugar, wasn't it? So we're going to draw that as well later on tonight. So that's great. So let's put those... Oh, well, you can tell them about these because you can buy these as well if you want. They are live on the website. Isn't this so cute? I mean, you've just got to have it just because it's pink. Yes. But it goes with my nails. <laughs> You see, it goes with my nails. Look at that. <laughs> we love anything pink. And then Natalie's got these fabulous brushes out that she's had out for her. And these are beautiful. So this is what she recommends. And they've got her company logo on, okay, Immaculate Confections. So these are her brushes. You can buy them as a set of four of us. And these are what she works with all the time as well. As you can see, look at that, several sets. Coloured up already. She'll tell you all about those as well. So one lucky winner can um, will win those. And then any of you want to buy them, they are on the website for sale. So we're going to put that to one side. And um, before we do anything else, let's just show you these three cakes. Let's show you this one. 
I love this one. What do you think? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. What do you think? What are you doing? Christopher. Hello. Um, <laughs> so, we love this one. This is on a class, is it? What are you waving about for? She's okay. Oh. <laughs> well, do you know what I might so alarmingly, believe it or not, <laughs> I've got all this equipment with me. The one thing that I haven't bought is a rapid rose to use, my little support bag. Would you believe it? <laughs> no, Unfortunately. <laughs> You've got one Every in the car. Thursday, we have one in the car. So that was I me. Got the bell. Well, see, I don't even know if I've got one in the car. I like, like of all the things. Can you believe that? Yeah. Like, well done it's now. It's live. What else could happen? This is what happens when we're live. Oh you goodness, see it as it is. There's yeah. no mistakes. It, well, it's not there's no mistakes. We can't hide mistakes. Warts and all. Yeah, absolutely. So Christopher's off running down the car finding a rapid row support pad. Oh, here we go. But isn't this beautiful? My hero. <laughs> Such a good boy, how lucky was that? Thank you, you can darling. breathe again. Oh, and a new one as well. Yeah, good, good, good. Actually, I've not actually thought, Laura, have we, how many people have got joining us? We have got a few, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we were touching 200 and, and keep and we will keep growing when I last looked. Um, so, yeah, lots of familiar names. Loads of positive comments about the book saying oh, it's thanks. fantastic, it's beautiful. Lots of people have bought it just for specific parts, even just rolling out flower paste and the colours, that's the colour oh, section. Yes, yeah. So, like Carol said, it's got a bit for everybody. It's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, lots and lots of positive Thank comments you. about it. How many people bought it just because it's pretty? <laughs> that's what I know a few. <laughs> There's a couple of people in our office just because of the you? front cover. <laughs> I bet it's Karen that, isn't Karen, it? Yeah. Sure. I know, I said, Karen, we've got to have one. I haven't even opened the book. I've actually never made a rapid rose apart from on you your... Did, yeah, last time, time with you. Yeah. That's the first one I've ever made. Yeah. I don't care, I just want the book. It's <laughs> Look at it, it's nice. <laughs> so, anyhow, so, we just thought we'd show you... This is in the book, this one, so isn't it? This one's in the book, yes. Yeah. How pretty is that? Absolutely so lovely. Fact, we can show them there in the Yeah, inside, go and get yeah. it out. So at the end of the book, it goes through making all the flowers, your colours, your techniques and everything. And then at the end, there's a section that's got three cake projects in it. So where do I show you this? Here. Yes, please. Um, no, so yes, that's please. one of them. And you can see, and I was really, really specific about wanting this in there. So you've got all the colours and stuff, everything you need to make to do it. Oh, God, I can't even... <laughs> I'll do it with my other hand, it'd be easier. Um, everything for dusting them, because, of course, that's what brings them to life. And then the step-by-step -step pictures for um, arranging everything. And you can see how the design's built up, where to attach this bit, where to attach that bit. Because I think quite often with um, sugar flower books, that's that's what's missing. It, sort yeah. of, it tells you to make the flowers, and it says, now make three and attach them to the cake. And it's like, well, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> so it takes you through um, through all of that. And that that's for all, all three projects, because there's another And, the, and this cake, to me, there. I love this cake. It was one of the favourite ones when I opened the book. And to me, it's just simply elegant. Beautiful. I, I don't think there's any other Thank word you. for it than simply no. elegant. Just, just before we move on, we've got a couple of people who are saying they've missed what the book is and who it's by. Do you want to give it just a little, very brief <laughs> intro and explanation? It is on the, the Sugar and Crumbs website, so before I carry on, I will say... Do they know who she is? I have put your name up on the <laughs> screen, by the way, and we did introduce you at the start, so Natalie's with us. That's cool. <laughs> um, anything that you watch on the Facebook Live this evening, including the book, can be purchased from the Sugar and Crumbs website, um, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. If you head over to the website, there's a search bar at the top, so you can either pop in the name of the item that you want, you can either shop by brand, or if you go over to the right-hand side, go over to the Facebook Live wish list, and everything is listed in there. Just look for Natalie's name. Uh, if you can't watch the whole of the Facebook Live, or you have missed any, you can catch up when we're finished on the Facebook page. It will be pinned to the top. And then it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well by middle of the week. And Maria's fantastic one-minute videos will be on there as well. Absolutely. Didn't forget about you, Maria. <laughs> She's so good, Laura, isn't she? I can't do that. She gets them all out, all the words out. She gets them all out. I meant all the words. She gets all the words out. She doesn't stutter. She doesn't stutter. She remembers everything. I'd be... It does happen. And when it happens, it goes bad. <laughs> I haven't seen it. So, do you want me to tell them about the book or are you going to tell them? Oh, I can. So, uh, I'm Natalie Porter. I am uh, I'm an award-winning cake designer. Um, and I wrote this here book, um, which is all about making sugar flowers. Um, you can see there's a nice picture on the front here. So, everything you see in that picture, there's um, the designs and step-by-step -step instructions and explanation before inside. 
Uh, there's a whole chapter on using colour, which is something I'm super excited about um, and very passionate about, and we will look at uh, later on today as well, so you can see there's there's loads of stuff in there, mixing colours. Um, and then Carol and I were just going through, there's, there's three projects. Um, this, this is one of them that we have got sitting here as it changed again. I can never keep up with the cameras. Um, yeah, we're so, good, aren't we? Yeah. Eh? We don't want that Chris filming, do we? Yeah. Poor man. Are you taking notes, Bob? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is the first project in there. It's a nice, easy one to start with. Um, and, yeah, there's step-by-step -step instructions for the colours, making the flowers, um, adding the petal dust, and then getting everything arranged on the cake, mm -hmm. which is useful. And we've got two more. Should we yeah, we have. I'm going to show them all. So this one, I have to say, that that's an absolute beautiful, beautiful and to me it's just mm -hmm. simply elegant. Stunning. It's beautiful. Oh, it's it's the colours. I know. I know, yeah. And then I see like the black <laughs> one on Natalie's website and think, oh, the oh, black cake with the black, vibrant flowers <laughs> on. Uh, this one's my favourite one with the blue and yellow, just because it's a weird, weird combination that you wouldn't necessarily well, it is, think of. Well, because you wouldn't see those colours, would you? No, but it works a treat. And on that sort of pale grey background, it's more interesting than if it was on white. So that one's um, in the book as well. And again, you have got there the uh, same thing. I can't turn pages tonight. So <laughs> good that you can actually see the real cake yeah. that was photographed oh, yeah, from yeah. the book. Literally, yeah, yeah. Um, so Touch yeah, it, stroke all it. your colours, all your dusts. And then again, you can see the step-by-step -step procedure and techniques for layering up the uh, flowers and leaves and things um, to, to arrange at the final design. Mm -hmm. And it's the same, there's, there's one more, which we'll, we'll show you as well. Um, which is this three tier here one. Yeah, th three tier one here. God, now I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can't make a, a thing. So yeah, all your colours, how to mix them up and stuff, all your dusting, and then um, the same procedure of adding them to the cake and how to do it in what order, what bits where and how, so that you can actually build your designs. And of course, the, the nice thing about this is having that sort of... Um, blueprint for it as it were here you go. like this three tier one it's just like it's a lovely classic design for a wedding you could make it four tiers and then add an extra tier in there but use the same techniques and of course you can change the colours so mm. if you had someone that was just doing it a different colour would make yeah, it look completely absolutely. different so you know you could do it these colours will go for the pastel ones I would love one, to do it in your lovely whatever. navy blue that you do oh, yeah. with white flowers or ivory yeah. flowers um, so it's all it's Pink. all in there that's Maybe. That's what it is. Oh, fantastic. So let's take this one away. So this is in the book as well, okay? And then I'm letting Natalie have responsibility of getting them to you. <laughs> They've travelled all over the place, these, though. Yeah, they have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're well travelled. And um, that's the last one. So, Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Um, coral, which is a, a big colour this year. Mm. Is that going to be the colour this year, coral? It, well, it's the, it's the Pantone colour of the year, and in the wedding industry, it usually takes sort of six to 12 months for it to filter through. Right. So a little bit this wedding season, but definitely next wedding season, it's going to be... We're going to be coral crazy, yeah. aren't we? Mm -hmm. So where the greys will finish, will it? Does yeah. that mean we're going to be painting our lounges magnolia again? <laughs> <laughs> so the grey carpet and the grey yeah. walls go, and now we're back on back, the magnolia back on, back on the and the beige yeah. furniture. I saw um, an advertisement in a magazine, a furniture magazine. I said, you know, oh my God, magnolia's back in. <laughs> you never know, that could have to do with coral. The most stupid thing we ever did when we bought our flat seven, eight years ago, something like that now, our first place together. And we redecorated the living room and it was lovely and bright and stuff. And we went to buy a sofa. And we were looking at the one and I was like, oh, I don't want a dark sofa because we've made this room so nice and bright and we did it. So, like the idiots we are, we brought a cream sofa. Yeah, the great. And you, yeah. well, we've got one too. For five minutes. You can imagine <laughs> how this poor sofa. Yeah. The jeans go on it and dark oh, and pay patches, don't they? There was an incident with a pint of Guinness. Yeah. But still, so yeah. No, 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 sofas. I think we've all been not, there. So, this is an absolute beauty in the book as well, which Natalie's just shown you. Absolutely love it. And the good thing is, as well, if you um, have seen Natalie do her lives before, the book makes loads of sense. It makes loads of sense if you haven't seen it because she makes it that easy for you. And one of the other things for me to lead on to is classes. If you've been to one of Natalie Porter's classes, then you'll know exactly what she's talking about when she shows you all these. And Natalie has done. How many classes have you done so far? Three or four yeah. now, I think. Yeah, I think you have. And she's got two more to do. So just to let you know about classes, so we'll just tell you what's going on in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. June, what date? 
Uh, 29th and 30th. Because we can't remember, it's a two-day class and it's called the Greenery Greenery class. Absolutely beautiful. We've got one place left. If you want to book <laughs> on it, you can phone Laura, speak to her in the office and pay a deposit. Okay, or Karen or Yin, whoever, you can pay a deposit and then you can pay the balance nearer the time. So if you want to do that. And then you're going to do your antlers class, which yeah. is, uh, both Brilliant cakes are absolutely one. stunning, but the antlers class really pops, doesn't it? And we've got two or three places on that and that is in September, isn't it? 21st and 22nd. Well done. There you go. Hey, is that it, Chris? He's got it, it sorted out, hasn't he? He's got to pay his way, you know, for coming <laughs> yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justify why he's here. So if you want to come on those classes, feel free to phone the office, book a deposit. The one for September is great because you could just phone in every week. We can fit, pay a few pennies off it if you want to. Well, more than a few pennies, but you know, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, yeah. don't you? <laughs> and then you've got classes elsewhere, haven't you? I have, you? yes. So the next one coming is on the... 13th of June. Oh, it's a week before you come to Is that right? Christopher? 13th of June, yeah. 13th of June. See, so, look, you just can't get the stuff. <laughs> um, it's 13th of June. It's at Suzanne Esper's Cake School. She is up in Scotland, so um, it's a little bit even further north for us than um, where we are right now. Uh, she's based in Lanark, so sort of in between Glasgow and Edinburgh. Um, lovely, lovely lady. Lovely cake She's school. been here in the kitchen. Yeah, she has. Yeah, of course yeah. she has. We would like to get her back. Yeah. Um, Suzanne. And, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell her. Yeah. Um, and that one, it is. If you go on to, if you search for Suzanne is for cakes and go onto her website, you will see it there. It's not yet on my website because I've been being a bit useless about that. However, it is on Susie's site, um, and it is grey and pink and gold with peonies and gold drips and gold sequins and stuff. So it's a really, really nice one um, in terms of techniques and things and uh, lots of stuff that you see a lot on wedding cakes nowadays in there. So that one's in Scotland on the 13th of June. And then I'm doing the Antlers class with us in, with you in September. Yeah. And in North London at Cakes of Good Taste. Christopher? Cakes of Good Taste? Yeah. Did so we I not tell you about that one? I wasn't correct about this one. <laughs> Antlers of well, Cakes of Good Taste? Yeah. I am. Right. It's right in front of me now. 21st and 22nd of September. There you go. So, oh, that's um, a week before us as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fantastic. I like, to, I like to pack it in. Brilliant. So that's, yeah, that's where I'm at if you want to come on. And the class. other thing as well, Natalie does classes at home as well. So you can always go over to Natalie's uh, Facebook page, which is... Uh, Immaculate Confections. And she also has a link to her website on there as well. And you can book onto classes as a... Do you do one-to-ones or yeah, groups? Yeah, um, one-to-ones or small groups up to four. Um, because we moved last year, I got this lovely home for the, uh, well, the cake room or the home studio, if I'm feeling fancy, <laughs> um, where we've got everything in there and there's plenty of space. So yeah, we, we can do it that way. And then the, the nice thing about one-to-one -one is that you tailor it exactly to what you want to learn. Yeah. So we'd speak on the phone, speak via email, figure out what skills it is that you want to learn and develop and everything. Um, and, then, and then we go from there. So yeah, if you're interested in that, ping us a message and we can see what we can do. Yeah. So as you know, when you come to the Sugar and Crumbs mm -hmm. Kitchen, we're giving you a learning experience. And obviously we want to sell you products, that's what it's about. But rather than just say buy this product or show you a picture, the whole thing about the Facebook Lives is actually showing you how to use the products. And this is why I love it when the tutors come on up. And they actually come up free of charge. Um, you know, free of charge, they don't, they don't charge me anything. Their aim is that we are going to sell their products and what we want to do in return is show you the best way to use them. And that's why we do Facebook Facebook lives you know we're quite transparent about that um, and that's why we love having Natalie back so some of you are going to see her use a ultimate peony bundle uh, ultimate it's not called ultimate peony bundle rose, is it rose and peony bundle, rose and peony bundle. so she's going to use the selection of cutters support pads and other bits of things that come in that bundle she'll show it you tonight lots of you have got it already and um, Natalie can't believe exactly how many we actually sell we sell loads of them and if you haven't got one after you've watched tonight's demo you'll definitely want to buy one and as I say there's her brushes that you can buy and this pink pad I just love it it's pink right okay so let's get those out of the way and then I just want to have a quick two minutes yeah. with you guys for a moment and um, last night I did a two Facebook lives I did one on products and you might spot them in the kitchen. We're not going to go through them again tonight. Um, but if you want to know the new products that have come into the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, I did do a live on them and I went through went through them with you. And um, there's another new product that's just come out. Cake Style Cutters have just brought out a new set of cutters called Script. 
and they are beautiful i've just put them on the website um tonight actually and then i then went over to the community group so if you guys are not a member of the community group we have a fabulous group called sugar and crumbs all about cake community and it's an amazing group it's absolutely fantastic we've got nearly 20,000 members which is amazing okay but the group also as much as it brings its trip you know it's glory and everything else every now and again it does bring you some heartache and at times there's been a couple of little incidents that people actually forget that I'm a human being and there's been a few little incidents on there that's really hurt my feelings things that have not been in my control things that have been dealt with that maybe one or two people have not liked it and we've tried to put it right sometimes but you know over the last few weeks um I felt as though I really couldn't talk about the group. I've not been active on the group. And even at one point, I wanted to close the group down. And that's really very sad because, you know, there's so many fabulous people on there. And I now need to gain control of that group. And I have that group live. So if you are a group member, go over and pop that like, go over and watch that live. Because I think I try to explain myself as best as I can that it is a group and we're never going to make everybody happy. But the fact that the majority of you are happy is very important. So do go over there and like that. And I do want to say a massive, massive thank you to the love and support I got last night. It was actually quite overwhelming. The office have had phone calls. There's emails that come in when people have asked questions. And I, I just read one just before and it said, give Carol a big hug from me. I do really, really appreciate it. And everybody who actually went to a lot of trouble last night and today today to write to me and I can't say there was one or two I have to tell you there was hundreds of you and to me I find that an absolute amazing tribute it makes me feel that myself John Laura Maria the admin team we are doing a good job and I'm not going to let anybody beat me down again I know I come across strong but when you know me I am actually human I can cry I can be upset I can lose sleep and and I have lost sleep and I, I can't go through it again I just want a group that behaves itself have fun enjoy the group get let's get back let's be positive and that's a, this is the last time I talk about it I just want you all to enjoy the group is that okay yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. fantastic good so Very I nice am now going to bog off out of the way <laughs> Get back to my normal self. I'm going to sit on the other side and I'm going to let Natalie do what she does best and show you some of her fabulous work. Go Thank go. you. All right. Hello again, everybody. Um, I can see Maria poised in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming for me. We need to hover. <laughs> um, okay, so what we'll do is we're going to start off looking at colour a little bit because, like I keep saying, I'm obsessed. There's loads of that in the book. Uh, we're going to do colour. I'm going to do some sketches because you guys seem to like that when I did it the other week. But obviously being yeah. here, it will be much easier for you to see because they basically got a much <laughs> more, sophist a more sophisticated setup. Can I just say, you did do a great <laughs> live. The only thing that let you down was your internet. Yeah. I know, I know. Not the under control. control. So, so I wouldn't knock like yourself that. too much. You did no. a great live. Thank you. And I know I was messaging you saying, change the phone. <laughs> <laughs> And it seems that their posh phone was the one that was playing up and Natalie's old, wonky, knackered old phone was as good was as gold right, and gave yeah. the best signal, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, technology. Um, so yeah, I'll do some more sketching and we'll look at some colours and stuff with that. And then I have brought some leaves with me and I have this here uh, dummy, which again, one day I'm actually going to get around to covering a dummy before I use it on a live, but you know, <laughs> it'll be fine. Um, and we're going to make a peony this time because everybody's been asking for a peony. So we will do that. Um, so sketching. Did we say sketching? No, we said colours. Mm. Right, okay. Um, I know some of you are going to have seen this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's relevant to uh, what we're about to do. So um, everyone's heard of the colour wheel, I would think. Uh, you're taught at school that you mix all the colours with blue, yellow and red. And from mixing them, you will get all the other colours. Um, you do to a point. This colour wheel, it is an old colour wheel and it is based on uh, pigments that are basically very old that were discovered hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Um, the thing that it cannot do, as I'm sure you'll see is missing, is super bright pink, like proper, like you know, this pink sort pink. of yeah. sugar and crumbs magenta pink. 
the lack of that means that you don't get proper purples and then you've not got sky blue you're kind of stuck to that royal primary blue um so i don't use this one it's it's there simply as an illustration of, of what not to do and there's a little picture of it in the book as well and um, the one that i like to use is this one here um, so you've still got your yellow, that's the same, but instead of blue, it's cyan, and instead of uh, red, you've got magenta. Um, and you can see how many more colours you can mix with those two. That's what your printer uses. So if, if you go and buy inks with a printer at home, you buy cyan, yellow, and magenta yeah. inks. Um, and it's what, like if you buy a newspaper, you get those little dots printed in the corner. Again, cyan, yellow, and magenta, and they're printed there so that the printers can check that those colours are coming out correct and coming out pure. Um, so this is a much better one to use, and especially for cake makers, better one to use, because you've got those lovely bright pinks, the proper purples, and then that sort of Santorini Greek yeah. island shade of blue, which is my favourite colour. Um, <laughs> which is a shame, because it's a hard one to use on cakes. There aren't that many flowers about that are that kind of, yeah. um, kind of thing. So that's the colour wheel. These were, um, so I painted these uh, with food colours, because I am pedantic, if not anything else. So it was about proving that the, yeah. the theory works with food colourings. Um, it is a useful thing to get to know because it can act as your sort of recipe guide for mixing colours. So let's say, for example, um, you've got, and this is what we're going to do later, you've got a pink and a yellow and your goal is to make something peachy. Well, peach is a sort of orangey colour, so it's going to sit somewhere around here. And then you can see that your peach is going to be pale, so you don't want to put too much pigment in. And like I said, it can act as a guide of, of what to mix with what in what proportions to arrive at a whole range of colours. Um, similarly, if you are mixing up greens, if you want a turquoise, turquoise is a bluish green. So you would have more blue in there than you'd have yellow, so that you come out at a turquoise teal um, jade sort of colour. Um, conversely, you've got lime, that's yellowier. Is that a word coming up? That's a yeah, word? It has, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it, it's a green with more yellow included because it's coming from this side. So, yeah, getting to know your colour wheel can really, really help you understand colours, how to mix them, and all the rest of it. Um, it's a useful, useful thing that. Um, that being said, I always add as a footnote that at Cake Makers we are fortunate enough to have access to, God, there must be hundreds of different colours across the different brands and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm by no means advocating that you sit there and mix every single colour from scratch, but it's a useful thing to know so that you can tweak the colours that you've got. So if you've got, uh, you've got a, a green green and you've got a yellow but you've not got the lime green colour, you can mix your own one. Yeah. Um, so yes, that is that end of it. It's also useful, and this I like saying this, you guys will appreciate this because we're talking about magnolia, that um, when you're sort of choosing colours and things, look at what the colour actually is. So this one here, you, you, one person could call it lime, another person could call it spring green, somebody else could call it citrus green or whatever. Um, colour names are totally subjective, so it's more important that you look actually at the colour uh, if you've got a fussy bride who must have her flowers on the cake exactly match her bridesmaid's dresses, get a sample of it. Don't take her word for the fact that it's dusky pink. Because <laughs> one man's dusky pink is another man's lavender mist or yeah. yes. whatever other thing. So it's about looking at, learning and understanding um, the colours. So that's that bit. The next bit is then um, how you combine them together. Which... And again, all of this stuff is in that, it's in the second chapter of the book. There's loads on it because I'm super excited about all of this. Um, you've got two things you want to look for when you're making a colour palette. Uh, harmony and contrast. So contrast is when things clash a little bit. And you can have things clashing without them being, um, like in your face, it doesn't have to be an overly bold and, and violent clash. Uh, so typically it's opposites on the colour wheel. Um, officially they're called complementary colours, but I've always thought that's a bit of a weird name because it, it they, they, can, they, they yeah. work because they contrast, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, opposite. So you've got your yellows and purples, reds and greens, blues and oranges. Um, those combinations of colours will always look super bright. So like that yellow and blue 
uh, peony cake that's in the book, that's utilising the uh, blue and orange as a, as a contrast. Um, some of it, there's, there's a few I've done in the past, like if you've got a navy cake with orange flowers on it, again, it's the contrast. Um, red and green you see a lot. Uh, in nature, a lot of flowers are reds and pinks and oranges and stuff, so that's all using that relationship there. Um, and Christmas, everything at Christmas is red and green, so um, we've got that. So that's your contrast. And then the harmony side of it is when you've got colours um, from the same slice of the colour wheel. So that would be using a pink, a purple and a blue together, or having your sort of your pinks and your corals together and stuff. Um, so those are the two relationships that you really want to think about when you are choosing colours. Utilising those things and exploiting them is what will make it look really cool. And I really do believe, and this always sounds so rude, I have not yet figured out a polite way to say it, but I shall say it anyhow. <laughs> um, you can have a thing, a piece of art, the decor of a room, a cake, a cart, whatever, that is less than perfect, perhaps the technical skill is lacking or the sofa's banged up or whatever. If the colours are right, it will still look amazing. Um, colour does that is what will catch people's eyes and what will make things look fantastic. Um, I think you're absolutely right yeah. there, and that's why when you get that terminology, it pops, which is yeah. a new modern now. Isn't it? Yeah. I would go, oh, it's gorgeous, it's stunning, it's fabulous. But, but it's today's true. modern yeah, word yeah. now is it pops, yeah. and, and that's it. Like you know, no disrespect, I would never put that yellow and blue on that cake before. Mm. Those are not colours I would have hit. But it freaking stands out a mile, yes. doesn't it? Well, and this, that, that's a, a, a beautiful lead there, so thank you, <laughs> inadvertently, because I'm going to do some sketches. Um, sketching is the absolute best way to test your colours and see what's going to work and all the rest of it. So if I try and hold this over here, and hopefully, can you see that picture there? Down a little bit. Oh, that's yeah. it, perfect. Yeah. Cool. So that blue and yellow one, Yeah. Um, I wanted to do something different, so I drew it. The first thing that I tried was like, let's go green and white. It's a classic combo, fresh, simple, beautiful, but it wasn't quite exciting enough for what I wanted to do. Um, then I looked at doing some pinks and purples. I was like, oh, we've all done pink and purple before. Yeah. And it was via the sketch with, yeah, a yellow, orange, and a couple of blue yeah. pencils that I was like, actually, that one there with the blue and orange is gonna work a blooming treat. So Fantastic. sketching is, is so important. Um, and actually, if we stay on that camera, yeah. I'll, I will do some. Um, right, right, you're going to have to shout me if I'm in the right spot and everything. You are. Oh, you are. There we go. <laughs> Could you speak up just a little yeah. bit? Yes. You, it would be better now, actually, because you lent right over oh, the yeah. microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm deafening everybody. Yeah. You've got a lovely quiet voice, but I um, think God like me. <laughs> Shout out. Um, so, whenever I talk to anyone about sketching in classes and stuff, they always worry that they're not fantastic as art and it's going to look awful and I can't do it and all the rest of it. The thing with cake sketches is that they are just, um, they're a plan. They're, they're an idea, a plan, a schematic, and a guide to what you're doing. So however many tiers you've got, you're just looking at doing simple little sort of blocks. And we can add on a, I always think they look a bit weird and unfinished without a <laughs> cake board. Um, that's it, so that that's your cake. And then, um, I hope you can see it up here, but you know, yeah. leaf shapes, that, that, that's literally all you need, is just a very basic leaf. Um, if you've got filler flowers, just a little blob will do it, or a little daisy or, or, or whatever. Um, and then bigger ones, I, I just draw them bigger and put some frilly bits. It's, it's no more complicated than that. Um, because again, it's acting as a guide in terms of design and placement and colour. Um, so, for example, on this one, if it was something, uh, like the one that's in the book. So I know that we're going to have two big roses on the top there. And I know that I want to have some sort of sticky out leafy bits, some little fillers, some droopy down leafy bits. All the technical terms, guys, as always. <laughs> um, and then we were going to stick a few just here. So those are my big flowers. And again, some leaves, some little fillers and stuff. Um, and we've got that. So that's sort of one idea. Or, or with this one, um, again, if you were going to do a peony, I know they show up bigger, so I'm just going to draw my flowery blob a little bit bigger. We'll have some leaves, some fillers, some berries, and some more leaves. Um, like, it's so simple. It, it's not a thing to need to get 
get worried about. And then um, this one, this is what we'll, we'll make tonight. So for this, I know that we want to have a peony um, and some leaves. Are you going to make all this tonight? No. Um, no, just, <laughs> just this one. Oh, oh, oh. Just this one. Oh, oh, oh. Chris, <laughs> Chris there rolling out the sugar face yeah. now. Yeah. Ready. No, I'm just sort of <laughs> making a making a point. Yeah. And you can do so the other thing as well, actually I will draw um this one here. I'm just gonna draw it again because yeah, I wanna I've got a, a point to make and a motive. <laughs> But I think you're quite right drawing, and I think that's where a lot of people actually go wrong. They get a cake, they make the two tiers, and then they sit there and think about what yeah. they're doing. Or, and afterwards. like me, I have an idea in my head, and yeah. then when it actually comes to put it into practice, it just does not work. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's worth it, isn't it? Sit down yeah. and do it. It makes okay, such you would a difference. Oh, yeah. So these are just like, well, look, you can see how beat up this is. It's literally, I've had these pencils since I was in school. Yeah. Pick some colours, Carol. Well, see, the thing is, I always go pink and that, that, that's no good. You go for it. Okay. Go on, Laura, what would you have? Why don't we go yellows? Yellow and yellow. orange? Can we do yellow yeah, and orange? Yeah, we can do that. So I will do that on this one. So let's say we're going to do our roses in the yellow. And the important thing here is that that yellow, because it's the roses, it's the biggest blob of colour. So by doing it on the roses, you've, we've, we've chosen our dominant colour. Right. Um, now, I know that I'm going to obviously put some petal dust and stuff on it, because, you know, why wouldn't I? Yep. <laughs> um, so I've just got a little bit of that sort of, a little bit from an orange pencil around the edge. Again, it's not perfect, but it's giving an idea that there's going to be some depth and tone to it. Um, we need to, oh, oh dear, look. Oh, no, she drinks yourself now. It is, it's like, it's all like being back at school. It's like, miss, can I go sharpen your pencil? Um, so those are the colours we've got, and we need a green to go with it. So there's two ways you can do it that would work for this. You either go for those sort of bright, liney colours and put together that, which is quite, I'm not going to say offensive as such, but it's, it's pretty full on. Or we go back to our contrasting uh, relationships, and we know that blue and orange are opposites. So what we could do instead is take um, some more bluey sort of greens, like those mm. ones there. And do you see, can, like, it's is it showing difference. up? Or, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is why this is so important. And just those little blobs there is enough to um, to show you what you're doing. So yeah. I think that, that the bluey green is really cool. So I'm just going to colour in our leaves there. Um, oh, we've got a few more. Yeah, well, I nearly forgot my sticky downy bit. Um, and then if we want an accent colour, so this is one that sort of doesn't fit the pattern, but is just going to set everything off and make it look really cool. I know there's a... Oh, my pink's gone. Oh, there's a pink there. A cerise pink there. Yeah, this one. one this one doesn't come out very pink. It's what about pink. this pink? Crap pencil. Oh, no, this is the one I wanted. Oh. This is our bright pink. Right. So that bright pink because it tones with the yellow and the orange mm. is going to oh. sit really nice. that is what's going to make it pop isn't it yeah with those little accents so you can see how quickly you get an idea of the fact that that could work um as a design so go on what color do you want but you can't say yellow i know maria's blue. every color is yellow okay blue so, just to pause you just for a second yeah. there's a couple of people saying they're having problems with a feed and <laughs> um, it's not our feed that's the problem we're absolutely fine tonight you probably jinxed us now, but we are absolutely <laughs> fine tonight. So if you do have a problem, all you need to do is close the app on whatever device you're watching, close your app down and restart it, rejoin the video. But if there's any part of the Facebook Live that you've missed, you want to catch up on anything, I know a few people have said they've missed the colour wheel and everything like that, you can watch the whole Facebook Live back when we've finished. So don't That's panic, fine. it's not going to go anywhere. Clearly it's our influence, Christopher. We've walked in the room <laughs> and we've destroyed the internet. Um, so yes, blue. I'm going to go for this really bright, bright blue because I, I like bright blues. Like I said, it's one of my favourite colours. And I'm going to do these the same just to start with because again, there's a, I have an ulterior motive. So if we've got that there, I reckon then that using a toning colour, so one that matches instead of one that contrasts. So I've got this sort of deep purplish navy. Oh, that's nice. 
So if we do our little sort of berry come fillery bits like that. And then, see, and this is where you can go a little bit off piece with things because you could go, so like a bright limey green would work. And then in terms of your dusting on that, um, not this one, this one, you could go for some ever so slightly kind of bluey edges and obviously that works really nicely. Um, but the other thing that would work really well is going for something completely different, making it up as you go along and um, going for grey, which you can see in the Ooh, bottom that's one. Nice. And do you see, like, it just, it just absolutely changes it. And then things like as well, oh sorry, if you've got your ribbons, if you've got sort of a grey ribbon down there, or indeed, if you were to do like a, a purple ribbon, it, it, playing with the ribbons yeah. as well mm. can, can make a huge difference. Um, so that would be playing with those colours. And then this one, which is what we're gonna, gonna make this evening. So I'm gonna do this one, because I know, I know what it needs to be. <laughs> um, just as this little one tip. So we are gonna do a sort of, are you going to make one like this? Yeah, a little bit like that. Yeah. So kind of <laughs> peachy, pinky, um, peony. So that's those kind of colours. Are you going to cover the cake dummy as well? Eh? Are you going to cover the cake dummy as well? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. Have to imagine. No, sadly not. No. Sadly not. <laughs> so we've got our sort of pinks and peaches, and that's what we know the peony is going to be. So it's going to be sort of peach all over. And then we'll put in the sort of petal dusty bits on, like so. And in fact, I might even go over that with just a little bit of orange because I know that I want a sort of peachy come corally type um, colour. And then, oh sorry, I imagine that dropping those pencils making a horrible noise for you guys. <laughs> um, and yeah, use it, so blue and orange again because that, that's basically what that, that cake is using, is having these sort of, um, find your words woman, uh, pale kind of eucalyptus -y type leaves. And in fact, the final thing will come out a little bit paler than this. Um, I've, I've oversaturated us a little bit, but yeah, something along those lines. So it's dead simple, you've just got one flower Possibly, if we decide to add the and is that the eucalyptus berries. colour? Yeah, yeah, I love that colour. It's lovely, um, isn't it? I never know whether it's called really eucalyptus or light teal. Same thing. Yeah. But then that—that's the point about um, colour names. That they're, they're yeah. completely subjective. Just find a colour that you like, regardless of its name. Um, so yeah, I hope that was useful. But yeah. those little sketches, just like practice and play with it. It's not—it's um, not an art exam. And you don't it's have to be an artist to no. draw those. You're only drawing like a little swirly thing and yeah, it's a bit yeah. jaggy and leaves and, and all it is like with these two it's the, so it's more or less the same design and in fact like, you can down, see you push it out the camera now there you go, but this yeah. one here lost the plot slightly in comparison yeah. to that one but it is enough of blobs of color shapes spaces and all the rest of it to give you an idea of what something's going to look like if you did the green leaves or what it would look like if we did the we just leaves. flipped that round so they can see mm, the right yes way. sorry i should have turned it i could have turned it all right yeah. <laughs> we just didn't want you to draw upside down <laughs> Um, it's good that they can say no but that's really good though isn't it yeah and i think it really does help doesn't it just drawing a little bit you get an idea into yeah. the place because sometimes people um get i sometimes have to say to people less is more yeah you know like mm. some people are just like i'm going to put this on and get this and i've done that mistake myself throw more and more oh, stuff on it yeah thinking it's going to get better it's actually getting worse yeah. so less is more i think it looks really classic absolutely that's it and it's just, it's playing with the colors See how the colour combinations will work, and that you can do it pencils, pens, food colouring, blobs of icing, scraps of ribbon. I think you should treat this to a new pencil case. Whatever you want. Really oh fun. no! Do you know what? I'm kind of attached to this because I've had it. <laughs> like honestly, I, I remember having this at school when I was yeah. like doing GCSEs and everything. So I, I, I can't. You can't change it now. No. <laughs> I get lucky pencil case. I get really silly about stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll pop that off to one side. We only used the one piece of paper. Um, and we'll make some stuff, shall we? Make some stuff, absolutely. Yeah, we'll make we'll some stuff. For. Right, so I've got um, my brand new rapid rose because I didn't bring my one because, you know, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we want that, and I'm going to need 
because we're doing a peony, it is a nice big um, 40 mil ball. Um, and then I have got the two large peony cutters um, and I want some flower paste. So I'm gonna color that up as we go. You know it. There's some pizza in there already. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, with the peonies, the one downside, they do take a little bit longer to make. Am I talking to this one? Any, wherever you want to be. Oh, okay. I'll talk over here. Hi. Um, <laughs> yeah, they take a little bit longer to make than the roses, uh, and you got to let it dry a wee bit in between some of the, the final layers. Um, so what I was thinking we could do is, like, when we pause for that store your questions up and if you have any questions we can chat through them while we're sort of waiting for it to yeah to dry a little bit um and equally if anyone has any questions now like fire them at me it's fire them at Laura. no it's fine it's fine there are people having problems with the feed but i promise you it's not our feed i've just chatted yeah, it on my phone it's, it's absolutely right. fine can you yeah. see it chris yeah, no, okay. uh, yeah, we're, we're not having any problems at all. Like I said, if, if you are giving up, unfortunately, then you know, do join us again when we're finished. You can watch it back at your own leisure. You can also watch it on YouTube as well whenever you're ready. So nothing will be missed. It will all be recorded and it will all be available to watch back again. I have a question. Do you have a little bit of Trex or Petal Base? Yes, I do. Trex is in the fridge just down the other side. Oh, there's on it for you. So someone has just asked, can you use modelling paste instead or does it need to be flour paste? Um, it's better if it's flour paste simply because, thank you, um, it's specially formulated for making flowers. So it will dry quicker, it is a little bit stretchier than modelling paste and um, it will dry nice and hard so that you've got then got sort of solid flowers to arrange everything with. Sorry, am I still not being loud enough? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try and be louder. I know. <laughs> But yeah, so you're better off with them um, with flour paste. And I always say to people, you, you can try to do it with other things, but you will find that you spend your time fighting against having the wrong paste, trying to get it to work despite the fact, rather than being able to sort of focus your energies on, on making the flowers, which is what we, we want to do. Um, okay, so I've got... I need to put this somewhere that it's not going to make a horrible mess. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Right, so I've got a little bit of, um, so just a tiny little bit of the, the Pro Gel pink there. Um, and the thing is, with colours, you can always add more, but you can't take them away. So add in just a tiny, tiny little bit at a time. Mm. So I don't know what's going on with the feet because I'm on the camera, so there's three of us now. I've been on it. fine. Yeah. There's nothing on here, is there? On our feed, I can see our actual feed, the connection, and it's, it is fine. So, question then, while we're thinking, which brand of red colour do you recommend to make poppies? Um, so poppies, they are quite a bright red and a sort of pillar box red as opposed to a kind of ruby Christmas red. I would go for a pre-coloured red paste, so whether it's Renshaw's pre-coloured or Squire's pre-coloured. Um, and then if you want to make it redder, um, Rainbow Dust do a very nice colour called Poppy that is a bright red. Um, or if you did want a deeper colour, go for a ruby, um, which again, mm. rainbow dust or um, sugar flare do one. And I believe that colour splash also do a yeah. poppy red. Yeah. Um, but for poppies, it's about having something that's super bright and yeah, pillar box red-ish, as opposed to a kind of deeper, warmer ruby red. Um, right. So that was some pink. And then I'm going to put in just a little bit of yellow, um, if I can open it, <laughs> because this will then mix to give us a What size page. ball again was it that you said? Um, it's a 40 mil ball, so uh, in the 40 mil? 40 millimetres. Um, in the tutorial, so actually oh, we can do the we can do our usual public service announcements about <laughs> downloading the tutorials. Um, <laughs> so, Okay, when you take the, uh, the Rapid Rose out of its packet, um, this here is a link to our website and there is a password to download a tutorial that explains how to make roses. Um, with the peony cutters, they come with cardboard stapled across the top. When you open that up, there is another link with another password to download the tutorial. Um, at the back of which you will find in each one a page that explains 
uh, which size ball to use with which cutters to make what size flower. Um, and of course, that information is also contained within the book. There you go, that was a Fantastic. long that answer easy. to a simple yeah. question. Um, <laughs> that was easy. Right, and I was going to pop just a little tiny bit more yellow in here actually. And then we'll actually start doing something at last. So bear with me guys. So there's a lady who's new. Do you have to buy all the petal dust as she's never bought any before? You do actually. It's always good to buy a nice range of petal dust. And we have a fabulous range here. There's lots of beautiful dusts out there. But we do have the rainbow dust colours, which are fantastic. We also have the fractal colours as well. They're amazing. And we have the colour splash dust. So it's always best to just go on the site, have a look, choose a few colours. And, you know, until you get them and then decide you'll, like, you'll come to like them. Anyway, I don't think you'll ever make mistakes. And we also sell the edible art range, which are the non-edible range of colours, which is really funny, isn't it, Nat? You use some of those, don't you? I do. They've got some brilliant colours, though. Yeah. And um, some really nice colours. Um, I think I've got everything. We'll find out. Okay, <laughs> so peony, or peony, or panini. Um, peonies, no peonies. Panini roses. Um, so we just need to start with something to cover the polystyrene ball. I'm sorry, I'm going to try and be louder. I can feel myself being I was going to say, did you want to bash it in? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So most of you have got a fantastic sig signal. We do believe that if you have got problems with a signal, it's either something in your area or maybe you're not connected properly to your Wi-Fi, use your phone data um, if, you've got, if you've got quite a lot of data to use, that is. But there's several of us here who are using our phones and there's no issues at all. Okay, so just a little bit of corn flour and it is just a tiny bit, just so that we're not sticking. And then we just need a more or less circular shape, um, like so. And then I'm just going to use the edges of the cutters to just emboss an idea of petals, an illusion of petals. Um, and then trusty old water pen. Let's see if I can get some water to come out. Just wet the back of that and then we're just going to pop it onto the top of the ball and that is simply so if any of the ball is showing through um, at the end it's you know you're looking onto the flower paste not onto um, this white thing but polystyrene there we go so I've got there goes. There. we're off we've started <laughs> yeah um, what's in the white bag it's corn flour we sell them they're called corn flour pouches there's one there, you just spotted it, got one out earlier. Ta da! <laughs> and they're really handy just for your mould or for dusting so on the board. And also right. when, your get when your fingers get sticky, when your fingers get sticky as well, it's also handy to just tap your fingers with it, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to roll this out. Um, so these have quite a few layers of petals, so what we we'll have to do is I'll do the first one and then we can. Yeah. Talk amongst ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Well, we've got a question. Is the peony pad is the peony pad on the Sugar and Crumbs website? The pink pad, the flower pad, is on the website, and it's also on the wish list as well. If you're looking for the support pad, um, I don't know whether we've got any more. Support I'm not sure pads, how many singles left. But we did. We've got them in the set. Did you bring up support pads? We've got single ones. Uh, we have. We've got single ones. We have. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe have to update the shot then. <laughs> um, so what I did there, press firmly, give it a wiggle. Very important that you give it a wiggle. Um, and then I'm going to take my knife and just slip down the centre or the middle of each petal. And that is simply, as you can see, to just free them up from each other. And then I Where you've this. got that, just push the pad back in. Just push it back up to look up there. That's perfect. Um, or do you want me to push no, it No, I'm zoomed in. Oh, so, you're zoomed in. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so this is a, a random veining stick, um, which you guys also sell. Uh -huh. um, and you can see that just sort of pushing it on the paste in a kind of curved arc, it, um, it's giving the veins to it. God, I don't know why I'm losing any words. 
But yes, you can see how much detail that's added. Yeah. So we do that first and then pop it onto your foam pad. And we're going to use a ball tool around the edge. Just give it a little bit of a frill, as you can see. Like that. And just draw it in so that we've got a nice shape on our petals. Um, pop it onto your rapid rose pad. Now, if any of you guys have made the roses, with those, it's always about turning them over. With the peonies, you don't turn the petals over, so they just the same way out. Yeah, yeah. And do, um, so I'm gonna say it again, because I, I like to say this. Do download those tutorials. Um, they're packed full of all the information that you need to know to do it, and I find they're really useful to use them hand in hand with these videos, because then the tutorial, you can read it, process all the information step by step at your own pace. But then you've also got the videos to sort of see the live action techniques and things or anything else. Um, so yeah, on your rapid rose pad and then you put your bud through the middle and you can see that what this do is doing is supporting those petals and holding them up. Um, the lovely thing about peonies is that there's no special order in which you need to attach the petals. So you can just whack them on and, and really it is in, in whichever order you prefer. Glue there, like so. That one there, this one, and as it happens here, you can see that we've covered all of our ball in the middle. Um, but it's still worth putting that first little mm, circle yeah. of them paste on just in case. And um, so we can get rid of the rapid rose pad, turn it over, press that down, and then that is our first layer of petals, um, which you can use just on its own as a bud if you wanted to. Uh, which we won't for this, I'll, I'll have some more. Um, so yeah, okay, this is where, like I said, it gets a little bit, I don't want to say boring. No, but yeah. I think people need to keep watching it time and time, I'll say, because you watch it and think you know it and you actually yeah. don't, because you forget things. It's like that simple thing there where you just said, for the rose, you would flip it over. Yeah, yeah. For the peony, you wouldn't. But there'd be other people who'd be flipping it over and yeah. wondering why it's going wrong, and that could be where they're going wrong. But just a couple of questions. Yes. The dust, do we sell them in sets? We don't sell them in sets. What I try to do is keep them as cheap as I can, and therefore you can pick whichever colours you want. Because it, when I've done sets before, somebody always wants to swap mm -hmm. something or change something. So the best thing I try to do is keep it price competitive as I can, and then that way you can choose what you what you want. Obviously, if you buy a whole load of me, of me, message me, and I'm always happy to throw in an extra freebie or so. And then I've just got to laugh at Jackie Sizer, the cornflower pouch. She had two of them, but her husband used to help her clean up. He thought they were bits of rubbish and used to launch them. Aww. So she does her own cleaning up now. Maybe he was doing that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you ask someone to wash the pots and they do it really badly, so you don't ask yeah. them again. <laughs> Yeah, you've been there and done yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> so Judy says you added a kind of yellow colour into the paste. Was it a gel? Yes. So, um, should we do a little rundown of uh, food colours? Yes. Because this is always interesting. I tell you what, uh, what did you tell her? His name was Judy. Yeah. Judy, I'm going to put these petals on and then it can have one of its minutes to dry whilst we look at the different kinds Good of colours. Um, because making sure that you're using the right product for the job is super important. So I don't know whether we put this on the wish list. I know lots of you have got it already. Have we put that on today, Maria? Do we know? That rolling thing. The thriller thing. No. Has anybody, Chris, yes. do you want to put it in your notes? Yes. Pretty you did nice. put it on. Call it's for a pouch. Is Chris taking notes? No, he is now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have to be the secretary. He can write down all the things that we've not put in the wish list and I can go and flip them on afterwards. So, back on your phone pad and, and pull tool again. The Sarah, the pen is a water pen. It hasn't got glue in it. You put water in it. And if Carol Haycox was in the kitchen from FMM, she has two. One with vodka for herself <laughs> and one with water. <laughs> that is a joke. That's her joke, by the way. Not my joke. Yes. But <laughs> in times of need, you could have a sneaky no, sip if you wanted to. We know Carol. I reckon it's <laughs> She's fun. hilarious, isn't she? It, um, so look, the... That bit unscrews from that bit, and then you, you literally just fill this up with water, pop it back together, and then it dispenses it sort of yeah. at a nice rate. And that comes in the set. It does come in the yeah. set. Oh, we right. do sell them individually, but that does come in the set. It's lucky someone. They're quite a lot in the set, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not not a bad uh, 
not a bad deal. So water in the middle, and then for these again, with like with the roses, I'm militant about the fact that you must only put water on the edges. With the peonies, it's not so important. I tend to do maybe like two or three lines so that there's enough to um, stick them together. Because the wonderful thing about peonies is that they are just wonderfully frilly messes. They don't have the same kind of prescriptive structure as a rose or some other flowers. So it's just about getting as many petals on as you can. Like I said, no particular order. And for these ones, um, you can see I'm not pressing them quite so tight. So we'll get rid of that. So interesting question. Lucy Preston said, if you haven't got a veining tool, could you use something else? Um, yes, you can do, uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it, um, which I can show you on the next one, but you can, you can do it with a, like a cocktail stick, you can do it with the veining tool on this, I, let, so I was doing something with gold leaf the other day and it is just, there's little bits of it everywhere. Um, so yeah, there are a few other options, or if you're just after sort of a, a, a clean and simple flower, you don't even need to vein it, oh, it wouldn't nice. be. Um, that looks so fabulous already, doesn't it? Thank you. So just want to say hello, to, we've said hello to a few people, but just want to say hello to our American stockist, Marissa. Hello, Marissa, from the Sweet Chalet, who stocks our flavoured ice and sugars. Hello. Hello, oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi. 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 I wasn't asking you to say hello, I'm just oh. shouting out hello. I looked up and she was looking at me, I was like, is there something I should be doing? No, not at all. No, she just popped up, she's in America, so there. It's their afternoon there, isn't it? So I don't know. I think what are they? Oh, um, five or seven hours behind. I can't remember. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 It's really good when you watch lives because you get them popping up from yeah, Australia. All different they're, times. They're like three o'clock in the morning. Something yeah. pops up from America. You never know what time it is in America though, is it? Well, it depends it they are. Yeah. Five to eleven hours, doesn't it? Yeah. Depends. We don't have a retailer in Canada, I'm afraid. I am sorry. We did use to have one, but she's um, she's not in business anymore, which is sad. And a few people said they can't hear you, Natalie. Oh, Could you open that big voice box of yours that you must find deep down somewhere? I'll try and be louder. Yeah. I'm not terribly loud. Um, right. So Emma says she can never get the right size ball for the cutter. So they sell the balls in Hobbycraft, don't they? So. You could do get a set of, um, you do get balls with the actual set, but then after that, I think you can pop along to Hobbycraft and buy yeah. them. And you can find them on Amazon as well. Yeah, can't I think you? you can sometimes get them like in the craft part of like B&M and Home Bargains and places like that. eBay, mm. eBay is a good place. Oh, craft there you go. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, uh, just go onto eBay and just put in, you know, 20, 35, whatever it is you want, millimetre polystyrene ball. Yeah. Um, and there'll be a few places come up. Yeah. I don't think we sell the balls. We sell the buds, don't we? we don't yeah, the shapes. But no, it's the buds that we sell. Oh. Yeah. Yes, they're wondering, Nestle, have you got quieter, or or have you had the hand over the iPad microphone? No, the microphone is definitely right in front I of Nestle. I must have. I'm no, it, it, out. it was Lynn. Lynn had her hand over the iPad oh, did she? microphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Georgie Godbold. Hi Georgie, how and are Georgie you? Georgie is in the kitchen with the class in September as well. So uh, she'll be here, we've got loads of classes here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. We've got Valerie and Christina, they're here for three sessions. I've got a third day to put on for them. They're doing a fabulous new class, hand painting. Wow. That's it, palette, palette painting. Oh nice. With a knife, that's quite interesting. Oh. Oh. I like the sound of that yeah. one. So again, water in the middle and those bits on the edges. So a few people have been watching on their laptop, and, but they've changed to watch it on the phone and don't seem to have a problem with their signal. Technology, I tell you. Yeah. Like, there are, apparently though, there are some Facebook updates that have been causing a little bit of havoc yeah. as well with like yeah. business pages and stuff like that. So might be something to do I know, because a few people couldn't find the units either. I do wish and they'd stop changing their minds yeah, about it. Right? So I do wish they'd stop changing Well, I couldn't the find the units myself yesterday, and they've now changed the heading, learning. Oh. So they're called, when you go into learning, the tab learning, there's all the units. But before, it used to be called Just units. units yeah. yeah. It's looking good. So what I'm doing here, guys... Do you want to show the camera so they can see it? As I'm attaching it. Can you, can you put them together while... 
in the opposite direction. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not um, putting them on quite so tight because obviously as, our, as we progress we want our petals to look like they're opening and it is as simple as just not um, just not squeezing them on so hard as we put them on. We've got some drying cool. out here. My new mad friend Michael Lewis Anderson is watching. He is. Oh, hi, Michael. Yes. He's on holiday as well, but he's been watching. I have to call him my mad new friend because I cannot tell you, I have never laughed with a man so much in Germany as I did with that man. He had me in stitches. In fact, I ended up leaving Laura on the stand to look after Nifty <laughs> Nozzle as I went and stood on his stand. I had a great time. <laughs> Still keep thinking about it. <laughs> if he wasn't gay, I'd run around chasing him. <laughs> he's got a fella, so... <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> now, we'll say hi to Patrick as well. Yeah, He's hello, Patrick. <laughs> so you can see it's not um, not as tightly curled over. And what I've done, hopefully, it's uh, if I do it with this bit, it's leaning towards you. So pokey tool, going in there and just sort of I'm pushing out with the pokey tool as I'm pushing in. Pushing in at the top. Ah, I get it. Just so that you get that sort of curved over and, and cupped cupped shape. Um, we're going to do one more and then we're going to have our first sort of mini break and we'll do the stuff with the colours for mm -hmm. uh, Judy, I think it was. Yeah, it was, you're right. It's amazing. What time is it? I don't what know, but I don't Five know what my eyes are Oh, that's okay. They're not, like, it's not too late yet. I just thought I'd check. <laughs> yeah, you've got ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's wrinkling. Okay. This would actually be a pretty good skin colour, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. But it's actually a beautiful colour as it is. I do like a peach. So it's a little bit of cornflower. And, and here, guys, you just want, you don't want to be like, like this, because then you're just going to be swimming in it yeah. and it's all going to dry out and stuff. Yeah. So you just want a tiny little bit. In fact, now that I've done that, let me push it out the wall. Press <laughs> family, give it a wiggle. Is that the smaller of the two peony cutters? It is. So it comes as a set of four. Um, I use the two large ones together for a large peony and the two small ones for a small peony. So this is the littlest of the two large ones. Um, and again, at the absolute risk of boring everybody to tears completely. Um, it's in the tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, but that's it, isn't it? it and, and that's what you have to remind people of. You have, they have got all of the information they need once they, they've got the tutorial. It is just a case of recapping constantly. But and that's such a good thing about having the tutorial. It's not, you know, you've been told the information once, you've lost it, and you've got to try and remember it. You've got it to go back to all the time. And it's in the book. Mustn't forget the book. Of course. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, there's, there's there's plenty of um, information and instruction in there as well. I'm being quiet again. I'm yes, really sorry. Being I don't know why I'm being shut quiet. Up. Shut, shut up. up. Shut up. <laughs> Speak up. <laughs> shut up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so Pearl Butler, Sorry, she's bought the complete set but not used the peony cutter yet, so she's pleased that Ooh. you're using it. Oh, brilliant. And if you get a move on, I want you to knock out a big room. <laughs> 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 I've never actually seen you use the big cutters. Um, I don't think you've been on here and done the big cutters. There's no special reason, and it's just, just habit more yeah. than anything. But yeah, we'll see. Oh, we can do another room. So could you not to... use the big cutters for extra petals to go on the start from here? Okay. So you know like you've used two, the two smaller cutters for this <laughs> set. Can you not use the big cutters to make this bigger and bigger? Oh yeah, we will do eventually, yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, it's just, the reason I do that is because, they're over here, sorry. <laughs> if you, um, so look, this is the littlest one. If you started with a tiny little ball like that, and then you work all the way up and you end up putting this giant cutter on it. Yeah. Like, you're going to lose the proportions. It's not yeah, going to look like yeah, anything. Huge. That, yeah. if you use all of them, it will look like a cabbage because it will have this tiny little bit in the middle and then these great big like right. leaves on the outside, uh, which is why I use them in pairs. So we will yeah. use the big one. Good, good. So, uh, somebody's just asked, on the pink foam pad, why have you got holes in it? So the holes are there so that you can make a Mexican hat to do yeah. um, filler flowers. 
which is just it's a particular technique that is very very versatile um, that I use to make um, like hydrangeas and little petunias or, or, or a variety of made up flowers because I do like making up a flower um, but yeah it, it's, it's used for that so the green mat is on our website so is the pink one and um, and the or the peony bundle everything that we are showing you tonight is actually on the wish list so go on, Laura, come on, get that speed on. <laughs> um, so yeah, all the products that we're showing you this evening are available on the website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, you can search by brand, which is Natalie Porter. Um, <laughs> okay, just stop so, now, yeah. because <laughs> Natalie now has a predicament that she's going to have to solve. I've just so got if this ever happened, if this ever happened in, your, in you, then <laughs> this is how you're going to deal with it. So this is the thing when you're live, you can't hide anything. So she's just broke her cocktail stick. <laughs> <laughs> and that, what you just she's definitely on. clinging on to the bottom of what yeah. I um, We'll improvise, guys. It will be fine. <laughs> Could Sorry. you just turn it around and poke a stick in it? Yes, I, I can certainly have a go at doing that. Yeah, yeah, right. like, we can definitely have a go at doing that, but I will do it at the end. <laughs> so I, I just saw you make the actions to flip it over and then hold the stick, hoping that you've just broken the stick. Oh, look, there's, a, there's just like, look at this, this pathetic now, look. <laughs> Um, interesting, Sue Foster, she's just swapped from Google Chrome to Microsoft Edge and she's not having any problems now. So it could well be your browser. Yeah. yeah so maybe swap over to Firefox or Safari. You never know what the problem is. But I'm on Safari, what are you on? Yeah. What's your browser for your phone? Because you're not on the iPhone. No, my, I I'm know. using I Safari. I think just picks up... Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> What are you picking up, um, Chris? I've been using it on the on Oh, mine's just Internet so. Explorer. It goes directly mm. on Facebook, yeah. yeah. Right. So maybe try that. Yeah. It's anyway. looking good. Now we're going to see how Natalie's going to get herself out of trouble, are we? Yeah, we will, in a minute. I'll worry about that <laughs> later on. Um, that needs to dry just for a few minutes. So we'll do the, the colour thing um, for Judy. I did not forget. Um, so and you know someone's going to ask you how to use those holes by making a little Mexican flower. But if they don't ask, I'm going to ask you to quickly knock one off. It's that. You'll have to buy a book to learn that bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can't give everything away. <laughs> um, right, so I'm pretty sure I spied. So just while Natalie's getting a bits and pieces together. Um, so yeah, go over to the website. Everything that we're selling, uh, we're showing you tonight, we sell on the website. So the gel colours, the dust. Um, Natalie's full kit, so the rose and peony bundle comes with the water brush pen and the little green support pad. Um, the pink pad is sold separately as well as Natalie's brushes are. So um, the range is Natalie Paws for Immaculate Confections. It's all available on the Facebook Live wish list as well. So if you head over to the right hand side, go to Facebook Live wish list, drop down to this month and look for Natalie's name and everything is available there. Um, like I said That's before, right. if anyone's sure. missed any of the um, Facebook right. Live or can't save the whole one, you can catch up with us. When we've finished, the whole Facebook Live will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page and then it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well. Good, well done. So a few <laughs> people are saying they're using Safari and they've got no problems. It seems to be a Google problem or a oh, Chrome well. problem. So you'll have to change your Good job, uh, we're browser. okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most important thing is that we're okay and we will have the whole Facebook Live available for everybody. So that's well, the most that's important thing. Well, that's a good thing when we uh, put it on YouTube the next <laughs> yeah. day, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, no, for sure. Um, yeah, colours. So you get um, liquid ones, little bottles of liquid ones that are very much liquid, like watery liquid. Um, highly concentrated. Those you can drop into other liquids <laughs> so like a cake mix your royal icing your buttercream um that sort of thing because obviously they're what's that, not they're not liquid mixtures they're soft mm -hmm. mixtures they're mm -hmm. not solid things um you then have waterier well they are liquids so i can just help you out there they are fractal colors they are for the airbrush but you can use them to paint with and to color with um, and then what I've got here, which are gels and or pastes. Pretty much the same thing, although the words are used interchangeably. Yeah. I think these guys tend to refer to it as gels. Yeah. Um, sugar flag tend to call theirs pastes, but they're the same thing. And yeah. they are much, much thicker and much more concentrated. Yeah. 
The point of these is that if you had a lump of um, fondant, flour paste, modelling paste, anything that is sort of solid like, you know, the pastes are, if you started adding liquid colours to them, you were just going to make a sticky mess of this to the point that it's, it's not going to work because there's so much liquid in it, which is why you want the, the, the less... The less liquid <laughs> um, gels and paste, which are either like these toothpastey ones, um, so rainbow dust pro gels, colour splashes, uh, or in the little pots you get sugar flare and um, do you carry any of the other brands of them? Of the pots? Yeah. No, we don't. We do we do the sugar flare unicorn set, that's all, isn't it? Yeah. And I think we it. do the gold, silver, black and white and sugar flare. Yes, mm. we do. Brilliant. But they're the same. But we don't thing, do so their the, colours. We've, so, we've got so many colours, it makes you scatty, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. No, I just think it, poverty, we've how got many so many companies wanting you to stock their colours that we've just decided on three brands, and that's Colour Splash, Pro Gel, uh, Rainbow Dust, sorry, and Fractal, yeah. and a few of the Sugar Flare. <coughs> right. So, uh, while you just choke your guts up a minute, we're just going on chatting here. Oh. So, the large green mat, Julie, the board, um, we're out of stock and the supplier is out of stock at the moment. I am waiting for them to come back in stock. They're a great board, um, but they should be back in in the next week or so. I'm just waiting for the supplier to get them back in. Are Pro Gels brighter than Colour Splash? I think, to be fair, they are different colours altogether, aren't they? They're, um, I wouldn't say they're brighter, they just have a different different range of colours. Yeah, that's what I mean, they're just different, aren't they? Which, like I don't our, think you'd go wrong with either. No, and, and like our, um, what we were saying about colour names, to some extent it's it's the same with the brands. Go after the colours rather than the brand. So yeah. if, 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 you know, if... Um, Colour Splash doesn't do a particular shade you're looking for, but Rainbow Dust does, then that's grand. And if they don't do it, but Sugar Flare does, then that's all right as well. Um, it's not so much that one is necessarily better than the other, they just have different different colours available. When you've done this one, do you need a bit of drying time, so you need something to chat about? Yeah. Because um, Maureen Bailey has asked, could you show her how to attach a wire instead of a cocktail stick? Yes, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll cross off and get some wires out, shall I? Is there any particular gauge wire? You'd want an 18 or a 20. They're the thicker ones, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ruined that, but never mind. <clears throat> never mind. Okay, so a um, little bit of corn flour, and I'm swapping over to my very largest cutter, which I think, yeah, look, I can just, <laughs> by the skin of our teeth, we can get one out now. Because I broke that stick, this is going to be really quite difficult. <laughs> and I think that I am going to do what Carol said and just um, sort of shove another stick in it. Do you want a cocktail stick? Um, yeah. If you've got one, if not, I yeah. can probably fish one out of my bag of, um, of everything. So even though we're on the bigger ones now, it's exactly the same. We've sliced down in between the petals and we're using the veining stick. detail thank you very much just in case you want to break a few more okay uh, and then we want to do it on the I don't want to use that one because that's the prize <laughs> hang on let me get my already used um, petal pad and the bottle because this one's bigger and just for speed. So the flower paste can be fold, uh, rolled very thin, can't it? That, that's yes. basically the benefit of using flower paste. And it and it dries hard as well, yeah. so that you're not running the risk of sort of squashing things as you're trying to arrange them on the cake. Um, because under, uh, normally I, I would... I've got the I know, I am, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> um, normally you would let things dry overnight before you dust them. Yeah. But obviously we're going to sort of whiz through it and do it much quicker because of yeah. the particular context. Just a speedy here. version. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> God, wish me luck, guys, because this could all go horribly wrong. Do it down so they can see. Oh, I'm basically just forcing another cocktail. Yeah, love it when so you're next to me. Yeah. So that will just about do us. 
So how do you know when paste is the right thickness? As a beginner, I struggle with this. Um, so it is. it depends on the style of flowers that you're going for. Um, and how quickly you want to work because the, the thinner you roll it, the longer it takes you to roll it out. Um, I don't personally roll my stuff super, super thin, whereas I know there are people that make sugar flowers out there that will roll it to the point that you can almost see through it. That side of things is um, personal preference. As regards being a beginner, um, thinness is something that will come over time. So don't beat yourself up if you feel like your flowers are a little bit chunky to begin with, because like any new skill, um, you know, you, you learn as you go. Yeah. Um, add in sort of new skills and, and new layers to your skills as you go along. And Sarah Mosley is asking, what is the quickest time you've ever made one of your roses or peonies? Oh, I was gonna, can anyone remember from last time? We, did, like to, we did time yeah, last you time when you did a rose. Bloody race against yeah. myself. Yeah. It's the black one. Yes. I can't remember what time. It was literally about, oh, wasn't it like something like four minutes? Not even that. Oh, I don't know if it was quite four minutes. Do you not think? I, <laughs> I don't know if it was like, that quick. We did a video that was ten minutes. I was going to say, I think it was ten minutes. Was it ten? Yeah, yeah. eight or ten, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was, yeah. We'll have to have a look back. Yeah. Because we did time you once, didn't we? We did put yeah, you under yeah. pressure. Yeah, I think it yeah. was ten minutes. Go on, I still came back in. Eh? I think we, I think <laughs> we guessed four minutes. I Maybe. We, I think we said, oh, she can do it <laughs> four in four minutes. minutes. <laughs> so again, this one, it's that same business of kind of poking them out and curling them over. Well, it's interesting because Michelle Nicholson th thinks it was seven. Seven. Dora <laughs> thinks it was eight. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> but it was more than four, anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I can do it. It does quick, take longer on the lives when, we, when she's shown you how to do it. When we did that test, that was for her to quickly show you how to do one. But when we're showing you here, it's because she's going through everything nice and slowly with you to show you how to make one. And then you just build up your own speed then. But this is looking beautiful. Right. I think I need to stop touching this so it can dry a bit. Because th this is where it's being quiet again. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. <laughs> um, at this stage, normally, you'd want to leave it a good sort of 10 to 15 minutes or thereabouts so that it can really dry before you start putting the next yeah. ones on. So, you know, you'll, well, you'll have to We've got a few a things for you to do. So you can show them how to wire one of the cones, which should be good. Show them the yellow, what you're going to do. And then they want to know how do you know it is the right thickness? That, well, yeah, so... Have you already done the yellow bit? Did I miss that? I saw you look over at Laura then. We did the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did the thickness bit before. Oh, did you? Sorry. I did, but was I thought that was the map. I can tell you. Yeah. may well have been. <laughs> um, right, so... Is there like a... No. And Tina Pine. Yes, I have the patchwork cutters, and I've just not put them on the website yet. But they will be on the website in the morning. <laughs> um, okay, so if you want to do it with a wire instead of a cocktail stick, so if I'm doing it with a cocktail stick, we'll be on, on here yeah. again. So I use a, a hot glue gun, which you can buy for like five quid in yeah. um, Hobbycraft or the range or something. So you'd squirt just a tiny little dot onto the ball, and it's literally like a, you know, like the sewing pins you get that mm -hmm. have got a pearl on yeah. the end, like that sort of size. You take your cocktail stick, and then you just push it into the ball through the glue. 10 seconds later, not even 10 seconds, like Chris is the expert at doing this. Oh, I've done thousands. Is that your job, Chris? Thousands and thousands. Um, seconds later it's dry and you've got, a, well this one's not because I've not done it with the glue, but you've got an absolutely solid base. If you wanted to do it with wire, because you're going to have the whole weight of a rose or a peony on there, you want something fairly thick, so like a 18 or 20 gauge wire. And in fact, look, if I bend that, you can see there's a, a reasonable amount of she says, yeah, a lot of, a lot of resistance there. So these ones are 18. Because 18. Um, the thing about cake wires is the smaller the number, the thicker the wire is. So your 18, your 20, 22 is nice and thick. The um, 26, 28, 30 is much thinner. Um, so again, I would glue on, here we are, my gun. I would pop a little <laughs> bit of, um, little pearl of glue on it and you would just stick the wire in through the glue instead of the cocktail stick. And so that you would give you... So you don't put it through one side of the cocktail, the ball, take no. it and then twist it 
No, I don't bother doing yeah. that. I would just do it with the glue. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. And if you look at the underneath of the peony, like there is so much paste sitting there that um, that glue is not, even if it was, I don't know, highly toxic. But I doubt it because they give them to kids in schools and usually things in schools are like, mm -hmm. you're all right to chew on them, like pencils or whatever. Um, you know, you, you've got so much flour paste built up underneath it that, you know, there's not a food issue, uh, no. food safety issue there because it's hidden. Um, so yeah, I would just do that. So if, if you prefer to make sort of... And those hot glue guns are cheap. They're only a fiver and yeah, heavy yeah, craft, aren't yeah. they? They're brilliant. The only I thing was hanging them up the other day. Yeah, I'm mm. thinking, well, should I buy myself one? And I thought, why do I need a hot glue gun? <laughs> just because. <laughs> just, just because. because. Exactly. I've got a pink one, Carol. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, noticed they do do pink ones as well. So um, just to catch up on a couple of comments there. So Mary Wilson is a lovely lady who I must make, this, this lady, Mary. She writes to us, doesn't she? And she's got, she's a, um, she's a senior, as she says, and um, she always writes lovely feedback after the lives, and um, and I enjoy reading her emails. They always make me laugh. But she just said she thought she was having a senior moment that she'd left the kettle boiling. And then <laughs> it so that's me. I'm ready for another brew. Angela Black says she has just got your book. Her friend bought it for her. She is so impressed with how lovely it is. Um, Thank you. Every time I look at green hedges and trees, I think of Chris. Fun fact that we see more types of green than any other colour. <laughs> yes, we Thanks do. Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> How does she think of you when she sees bushes? Because I, well, <laughs> well. Um, <laughs> Sorry. It is late, but I don't think we should go into it. <laughs> what are you not laughing at? <laughs> Someone, I don't get it. I can't, I can't, no, I can't do it. Someone I mean, the same I said when we did a live about the human eye sees more colours of green than any other colour. Oh, does it? Yeah. Because you would have to differentiate between plants in a forest to determine if they're a predator. Oh, or right. find food or, or tell the difference between or like things you can eat and poisonous things. Or whatever. Oh, right. Um, so there you go. Um, I'm going to do my last row of petals. and um, So I didn't mix up enough flour paste. I'm not going to be able to roll that thin enough to do this with. So I'm going to cheat and just mix in a little bit more white and mm -hmm. it's okay because it's the one that we need to cover. You know, yeah. It's fine. Make it up as we go along guys. There's something else I was going to say but I don't know what it was. So um, hello Kim Tilling. I've been in conversation with her today so she's um, a lovely lady who supports our group as well as many other groups. Very nice. So Darren Jenkins, you're looking for the fractal oh. colours. Hi Darren. Um, Darren shops with us all the time. Um, yeah. So Darren, if you go to shop by brand, go down to fractal colours, there's then subcategories of the gels, the dust, the flowers, and the shimmers and the pens. So they all have their own individual names. If you're looking for the dust, there's Fun Dustic, which is the matte range, and there is Sue Pearl, which is the shimmer, sort of metallic -y range. So it does depend what you're looking for. So there are subcategories under Fractal. Fractal is the main brand name. So, people who know about your bush then, Chris, okay, <laughs> is Liz Mosley. She was paying attention. So she said he told us on the last live. God. Have you got your book in there? Fun fact about my yeah. book. Yeah. Ruth Batchelor, she's got your book and she's read it from cover to cover in oh, one day and she bush. can't wait to start Aww. creating. Thank you. Marilyn Head said she thinks it took you seven minutes to make the black rose. <laughs> we're going to have to go and watch that again. We're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna have to. So we've got so we've got Kim from South Africa watching. Wow. So lots of people watching tonight. Well done. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Also, side note, and this is said entirely as a compliment. We need to get a Laura Christopher that like knows all of the things. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Be it's better than having my John. Believe me, I had to work with my John last night. Uh, <laughs> I had to work with my John last night, and John didn't know how to set up the cameras. Said there was no intro video. Said there was no intro video, and um, what was I supposed to say was. to you? And it was there. And it was there. <laughs> he then put us on portrait because he said you don't do it on landscape. And then I had to keep asking him questions because John just doesn't give you any information whatsoever. <laughs> to be fair, John confessed to me this morning. He did actually ask me when I got in work, did you watch the lives, Laura? I said, no, I'm really sorry. I didn't get a chance to watch them. I was busy last night. So we made a, a little confession about how he 
thought he was doing really well with this camera angle and then realised he wasn't actually live on that camera. No, <laughs> everybody had a side, had, everyone had a side profile of me talking to the camera. Oh, he thought he was doing really well, adjusting the angle, and then he realised he hadn't actually clicked it live. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not well, sure if he was know, confessing he... to me before I found out. <laughs> Yeah, I've just had to laugh. Kim's button there. We've got loads of Kim's on Kim's, here tonight. Yeah. Haven't we? It must be the name tonight. So, um, and then I just want to say, oh, we've got, hello, Donald Joyner. He is another gentleman who's in America selling our flavoured ice and sugars at the shows. So we're really very pleased to have three stockers over in America selling our product, which is fantastic. Cool. Mm. Right, this is our last uh, row of petals, guys. How exciting. Yeah. <laughs> um, and actually, oh, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> just gone down the old one. Yeah. Right, just going to smush that back together. Right. Caroline Thornburn, mouldy green bush kiss, Chris. I'm really. Oh, what did you say? I think I'm actually getting the joke now. <laughs> Yeah, Tina Pye said it was so funny. John that completely had it all wrong. Camera, ca camera, whilst on the wrong camera, our camera, Car Carol did a whole segment on the dust. <laughs> so there's me showing off all the fake Car Hill dust, all the lovely colours. No, it wasn't. It was the sugar, sugar flare sugars, <laughs> sugar flare sugars, showing them all, talking to the camera, putting them in my hand under the yep. camera, <laughs> and they were on a, they were on a Laura. Oh. Right. So last one, and this same idea, we're just going to attach them, no particular order, um, and you just want to um, attach them, again, less, less, less tightly than what they were before. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where's this lovely gentle voice come? Come on. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I mean, we've even shut the microphone closer to I it. know. I'm really sorry. You see how close it is? Over that, it's because I'm overexcited and I've gone so high pitched, it's out of the frequency that <laughs> I can pick up. Okay, you can see that everything is a little You're bit looking floppy. Amazing. Beautiful. So we'll turn it over really carefully because of that whole toothpick yeah. issue. Yeah. I'm going to press the back down. And then, right, what I have here, this, it is a cake dummy with a straw in it. And the reason for the straw is so that you can sort of put your put things in it in and out easily so it's not getting stuck because if you put it in the polystyrene you've got to give it a good shove and then you have to yeah. pull it out so this means that we can pop our flour into rest without um, damaging so, it. Question yes. um, which is quite good because I haven't been counting actually how many layers have you put on so far? Um, so it's four of the small ones and two of the big ones. There you go. Four of the small ones, two of the big ones. And could anybody guess where else you will find that information? In the book. In the book. And on your and down down tutorial. tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> right, so those are all falling down and our fix for that is some, I bought some, some kitchen towel. I do like a trusty bit of kitchen towel. So I'm just going to um, So up. Alison Hodgson says it's so much better to watch you live do this rather than a paper tutorial. And I have to say, you know what, we're people today, we all educate ourselves yeah. by looking at pretty pictures, which is why the book is so good. And the good thing about your book, it's all so colourful and lovely. But it's also really nice to see a live because I think you just pick up a few little words yes. like when you read you tend to fast read yeah that's and right you, you skim read something. it's yeah. like when you do a recipe isn't it you think you've read it all you go and miss the vital yeah. ingredient and then you go back and you like, oh i'm supposed to put half in now yeah. and half for afterwards yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Last night. <laughs> did you yeah did what did you do forgot to put something in the dinner and then like whilst explaining to Natalie what went into the dinner I was like oh I didn't put that <laughs> that's like, what's oh. left over yeah. oh. right, so these are just little rolls of um, kitchen paper and uh, you could I'm sure someone's going to ask you could do it with bits of sponge whatever yep. you fancy <laughs> um, I tend not to do it with a former just because this way, well, look, it's more fun because you can watch it collapse a thousand times. <laughs> um, but you, you can form this to the shape that you want it to be because each flower is going to come out slightly different. Um, so this way, it just means that you can shape it to what you want. And you can see it's supporting all of it there. Yeah. We can go around and just give 
these various bits, a good old poke in the prod with the trusty, trusty pokey tool. Um, and then what we'll do is just pop that to one side um, to dry a little bit. So have we got any other Well, I'll tell you what, while we're doing that, while, before we do some colours, should we do the draw? Yes, Ooh, let's. Yeah, people like that, don't we? Just, so, just one second. So let's go through the draw thing. So just hold my phone while I go. So we'll quickly do the draw because um, we need a few minutes to waste time while this dries. So when Nasli and Chris did a live a few weeks ago, they very generously offered, where are they, the new ones? They're just there. For there. Offered a set of these. So everybody who shared their live um, went into a draw and Maria and I have had the pleasure of printing off everything and cutting them up. Maria printed out the names and I had to cut them up and fold them. <laughs> so anyhow, so we've done that, they're in the bowl. So some lucky winner is going to win this fabulous set. These are Natalie's brushes that she recommends. They've got her name on, Immaculate Confection. They are fabulous. You'll see her using them, you're gonna want them. And then this, I just love this. As soon as I saw this, I first spotted it in Germany. And I said to Natalie, I want it, I want it, it's pink. I just love it. It's something about pink, isn't it? It's quite crazy. And I have to tell you, pink was never my favorite color either. Green was. I, I only ever had everything green, but Do now it's more pink. pink. Pardon? Because it looks really nice. Yeah, that's a good yeah, idea, isn't really it? Nice. A lovely yeah. pair of contrasting yeah. colours. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. So you can buy these separately, but the prize tonight is for this. So if there we go, just wait a minute. So we'll see who the lucky winner is. Go on then. <laughs> so you hope there isn't like a hole in your jumper. Yeah. <laughs> I did that in the class like the other there, week. There could be. <laughs> I, I was in the class the other week and I wear linen clothes and I had this linen top on. And uh, one lady said, uh, oh, we don't mind, Carol, but there must be a hole in your arm. All right then. <laughs> um, are you ready, guys? So the winner is Sharon Norris. Woohoo! Sharon Norris. Do you want to show them the ticket? Congratulations, Congratulations Sharon. Sharon. Give us a mess. I think we know Sharon, we do, don't we? Right. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, do we know Sharon? Sharon Norris. Yes. I definitely yes, recognise yes, her yes. name. I think she has been on one of your classes. I believe so too. Yes. yes. I Absolutely definitely fabulous. recognise Sharon's well, she'll name. She'll be really chuffed, won't she? So congratulations, Sharon. You are the lucky winner of this. So well done. Well done. And then let's do the nifty nozzles draw while we're waiting. Okay. It's always weird. Football. It's always weird when you do the competition because there's no round of applause. I know, like, yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> so, and then this one is for the nifty nozzles. We got more entries for this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> honestly, I'm home. Only <laughs> <laughs> joking. Just like to wind no, you up. Really so, <laughs> this one was for the competition that we did last Thursday, was it, Maria? And this one was um, if you. Uh, you would win three nifty nozzles and a bag of flavoured ice and sugar of your choice. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking not excited folding all them up, let me tell you. <laughs> Such a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ready? Yes. Claire Watts. Claire Watts. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, Claire. Yes. Claire's actually been a follower of Sugar and Crumbs for a long, long time. So congratulations, Gosh, that Claire. That is tiny writing. Uh, blame yeah. Maria. Well done, we got that. <sighs> so uh, congratulations, Claire. Um, so pop over a message, both of you, Sharon and Claire. Sharon's watching, so <laughs> is she? she is. Oh, well oh done. my God, can't it's believe great. it came on Natalie's course of loads of <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, well, Claire Watts, pop us a message as well with your name and address and you, Sharon, and we'll get those out in the post to you tomorrow. Good. So what else do we need to waste oh. some time with while the peeing is doing? Um, Should can, we talk about can, some dust? I, well, we can do. I've Should got, we talk um, about your new brushes? Oh, we can do that brushes. Sharon's just one. Right, so these... Oh, do you want to do a Mexican flower? You're not doing one of them. It's in the book. It's in the book. Sorry, you're <laughs> not doing one of them. That'll be next not time. Happen, is it? <laughs> um, so these are, so we've, we've got these specially made because they are just um, perfect. So it's super exciting because look, they say Immaculate Confection. I know, they're lovely. They're very nice. I really um, like them. White bristles so that you can always see what colour you're using them on because, of course, uh, if you've got ones that have got black bristles or brown bristles or whatever, sometimes it can be hard to tell. Um, we've got four different sizes. There's the nice big fat ones that I like to use for dusting uh, roses and stuff like that. Uh, a little flat one that is grand for doing um, 
like leaves and things, uh, and then Shut these up. two. I'm really so like I'm speaking at a normal voice. Either that, or maybe I've got something wrong with my ears, and I feel like I'm not hearing properly. Needs to teach you how to project. Yes. It's because I live with all these loud. Well, while we're projecting, I'm going to make a copy. Do you want another one? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Chris? She's no, loud enough with that answer. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, and then, okay, these ones. So these have got like. Oh, hang on, shall I show the close up camera? Would that make more sense? Yes, me being like, let's get I am like zooming in and out on your head at the moment. So, so these, like, you can see that Perfect. they are they're round and they've got this slightly pointed bit at ah. the top, right? Because they're perfect for. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Um, <clears throat> they are perfect for if you've got like a little filler flower or something. Because they've got that round bit, they're great ah, for dabbing yeah, colour right just in the centre. Because a lot of the brushes you see have got, they're either flat or the, the bristles aren't dense enough so that you sort of, you go to do that and it flops too much. Yeah. With these, they're just perfect. So there's a little one and a big one of those. In fact, this has probably got, whoa. Oh, that's what I'll say. No, 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 it was a, it was a little filler. hydrangea. What is, I did this the other day as well, actually. We were breaking everything, weren't we? Have I got, I don't think I've got another one. Oh, hang on. You have to make one in that Mexican hat thing. <laughs> no, no, I found one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to make So, yeah, they are great for just getting the very centre, drawing a little bit of colour up the petals and just adding your dust that way. Um, so, yeah, those are the brushes. We're, we're excited They're about those. They are beautiful. Um, and I love the fact you can't quite pick it up on the camera, but the handles, they're not just white. They're oh, they're slightly pearlescent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're so pretty. Yeah, they are slightly nice. pearlescent. There's yeah. your cup of coffee, my young lady. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, you can't pick that up on the camera, but they're really pretty. I don't know, once you get into brushes, you just want to buy them. No, yeah. Don't you? <laughs> they become addicted, don't yeah. they? Yeah. I've, I've, I've got, got so many sets, and I, I just like them. I like stroking them. I think there's something wrong there. I've got... um. Yeah, a, a lot of brushes. Right, I bought some leaves. So the next time I do this, we're gonna have a problem because so I keep everything. If I have spares, whether it's like leaves, filler flowers, buds, berries, whatever, I keep them. And um, so what I've been doing for the lives is sourcing things from the the random drawer of, of things. So um, yeah, I'm running out though. <laughs> so I don't know what we'll do next time. But I've got these lovely kind of greyish, tealy, blue type ones. Um, which I made earlier. They are a beautiful colour. Yeah. Right, it? And a few more there. It's this. like they've almost got a two-tone colour to them, isn't it? Mm. They, they are, they're really, they're cool these. Um, and what colour have you made that one? Do you colour so, that yourself? Yes. Yeah. And I will have a quick go at um, trying to replicate that colour now, which may, may not be interested, so you'll have to bear with me. No, I'm sure it will be interesting. Um, that's what I like, because what I like is it's like you're using that light teal, or what colour did you call it before? Eucalyptus. Oh, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus yeah, yeah. colour. It's the same, isn't it, really? And it's like the grey, you wouldn't think of them for leaves, yeah. but they look fantastic, don't yeah. they? Right. Yeah. I'll be a bit there. So these were from um, a cake that I did for cake decoration and sugar craft making um, last year for Cake International. Um, that had the leaves this colour and bright red roses on it, like bright, proper, deep, gorgeous um, ruby. And there's a bit of, yeah, like there's a little bit of red in that pot. So Leslie Davidson, could someone send me a spare thousand as I want to buy so much? <laughs> the brushes yeah, are in a set, they're 9 95 for a set of I'm four. I'm just putting the link on oh, as yeah. we speak, right. yeah. Have you been putting those fancy pictures on that Maria's done for you? Have you forgot? Yeah, no, we did them all at the beginning. <laughs> oh, did you? Not done them since. I've not seen any pop up. Not a chance. <laughs> so we meant to be that when okay. we talk about it, you ping it up. <laughs> Is it up? <laughs> and come up on my feed, yeah. Uh, we'll have to wait thirty ah, seconds. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've lost this my train of thought now. I was putting the link on for the brushes. <laughs> So I'm going to start off, like I hope this works, because I can't actually remember what colours went into those. But. And this is a good question as well. So the Squire's sugar paste as well, it's yeah. always rock hard. 
and um, I remember the first time I used some, I nearly broke my hand trying to break it off and use some. So Lucy, Pres Lucy Preston saying, do you warm the flower paste up? As she has brought some unopened and it is solid. It is always solid, isn't it? You have to break it off in small pieces. Small chunks. And there's another thing. Sorry, can I just get my bag? Sorry. Um, look at that. Oh, just one second. Jill Noy. No. Jill, Jill Noy. Is it Noy? Says, I want to retire, but there's too many shiny, lovely, cakey things. I'm going to be 90 ah. years old. At this <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you have little bits to start with, and you can see it, so it comes as a slab. I've broken it off. That is the top and bottom as was in the packet. So if you break it off, if you squish it sideways first, it's much easier to do it because you're kind of going against the grain of how it's sat in the yeah. bag. Oh, that sounds like a really weird thing to say, but it makes a difference. Yeah, it works, it works, doesn't it? Um, and yeah, you do need to knead it up really well. And if you're completely desperate, um, you can put it in the microwave, but put it in the microwave on like 20 or 40% power for five seconds at a time, and no more than five seconds, because what happens is it goes in, the middle heats up, you take it out, think it's all right, squash it, and then you can burn your palm. Mm. Um, oh. which and I've done that that is something you do need yeah. to be careful with it's when so you put in any of the sugar paste it's like in the molten, microwave it's isn't it yeah. yeah and I always say that 5 to 10 seconds yeah. at the most and to be fair the smaller it is go for 5 yeah and, and not full power yeah. is the other thing that you want yeah. it on um, but I've done that I have picked it up and thought oh that's alright squished it and oh. then yeah. the hot sugar's been inside it does it's like molten lava so with this, I'm starting off with um, grey, so I'm just putting in a little bit of black. You can use black. You want like the tiniest of tiny amounts. Um, all turned just show them that again. So you're literally Sorry. just touching the end, aren't you? The end of yeah. the tube. Are you being careful of my peony then? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't squash that so look, I'm not like young. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not even squeezing it, just literally touching it. Yeah. Just the tiniest bit, because you can always add more, but if you put too much in and make it black then it you know it, it takes a tremendous amount of white to um to get it back to bring it back um and i'm gonna go for no, i'm making a sticky mess here um i've got this here which is some jade and again that's the same thing i'm not even squeezing it i'm just touching it a little bit let's knead that in and see what happens is that going to make this grey leaf colour? It should do. How is it? Oh, I'd never thought of those two together, would you? Oh my goodness. Quite like it. That you can see it turning, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just so it's taken the grain. It's yeah. given it um, sort of a tint, as it were. And in fact, that you can see, so that was maybe a little bit too much of the jade. But I can pop a little bit more black in. It will get us to a similar colour. Yeah. Poor Annette, she's done two orders in one day now. I know, I've got her oh. first one because I think Annette's picking them up for the class. Oh yes. So I've yeah. put her first one to the side today. <laughs> yeah, she's on the class this weekend yeah. with me. Yeah. 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 And I think she's with friends, isn't she? Is it one friend? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. I've got classes this weekend, guys. Um, it's our baking day and there's still availability on there as well. Mm -hmm. And the cupcake bouquet class. We've had to have a lady cancel this week and move on to another class. So if anybody wants to jump on the cupcake bouquet class on Sunday, there's two places available there. I'd love to do that. The cupcake bouquet yeah, class. Yeah, because I don't, I don't do buttercream. Yeah. yeah. No. There was this one time when they made me try and pipe a cupcake and Carol thought it was hilarious. <laughs> because <laughs> I was just thoroughly inept at doing so. I think I just assumed that you could do them as well, well doesn't it? Because you're like... An award-winning cake decorator. Yeah, you just assume that you can do <laughs> to everything. Game, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it depends what you're used to. Yeah. Um, right. Sarah Mosley uh, thought they were a pale purple. These. Yeah. yeah. It's they the, do. On, uh, well, I'm looking at them live in the actually, kitchen. Actually, they do look pale purple. They do on the camera. And I'm not sure if it's because they're against the green. Yes, it definitely is because they're against the green. Is that better? Yeah. So it's yes. a sort of pale... Sagey, greeny, greeny, eucalyptus, yes. grey colour. See, again, colour names yeah. are so subjective. Basically, it's a really nice colour, which we've done with a little bit of black there um, and a little bit of jade. Mm. And it is more, it's, it's enough the same that I'm going to leave it there or all I'll end up doing is destroying it. Mm. 
Um, so a couple of things there. Darren Jenkins says he's purchased a pack of the one kilo Squire sugar paste, and he would like to. He said it's like a brick. <laughs> and how many packs of one kilo paste do you go through, Natalie? Um, it depends. When I'm busy, I, like I, I buy it five or six kilos at a time. Well, in Every fairness, when months. we did that Antlers class, the last class, yeah, it was three or four. Yeah, it? yeah, it was three. Yeah, yeah, three, yeah so it quite was three a lot. packets. We reserved four, quite a lot. but it was only three packets, and that was eight people in the class. Yeah, so there was plenty used. Wasn't yeah, yeah. There? It goes further than you'll think it is, further yeah. than you think it is. It does right. last a long time as well, but do make sure you keep it in that foil bag as well and do wrap that bag. I think you've seen Natalie fold yeah. it over. Do oh. make sure you wrap it and do put it in a Ziploc bag as well. <laughs> so, what have you just broke now? I didn't actually. Right. I didn't think that was a break. So, uh, what else would I like? Yes, yeah, so um, the Cupcake Bouquet, we've got two places on that. Um, the Cupcake Bouquet class is fabulous. It's a new class that I've started doing. And uh, my first one was a proper learning experience. We've done mm. one, so but we've all had a good laugh, and the ladies really do join in. It is good. The second one was great fun, and this is my third. So I'm hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to be a perfectionist this Literally, time. I can't open it. You can't open it. No. So don't ask me. I have false nails. Give you a hand. Oh, wait, oh, no, I managed. I heard. Yeah. Yeah. I managed. So Annette, if you want to jump on that one, let me know. Um, so you do go on with three bouquets as well. Three? Yeah. Wow. You go on with three bouquets, yeah, I'm very generous. Right. Um, so these ones, so I've just got some uh, grey, that one is a rainbow dust shadow grey, and I've got the rainbow dust uh, light teal um, sitting there. And with these, I don't know if you guys can be able to see the difference on this it's going to be fairly subtle but we'll hold it up to the camera and see so I'm just going over with a little bit of the grey I will say to you last time you did this I thought that's a bit pointless you can't <laughs> see but when you pulled it all together it was actually well worth the effort well it was yeah. amazing you can definitely see the light teal on yeah. the edge now definitely so this is it's just blowing them up a little bit is that word can we have that as a word yeah I don't know because hopefully and this is where I'm like oh I hope this works the combination of that grey blue and that wow, yeah, whatever that is. What is that? It's peach. It's going to look really cool. <laughs> whatever that is, it is going to look lovely. Um, so the pl the classes are um, the baking day on Saturday. The spaces is one hundred and twenty five pound, and believe me, you go home with a lot. You go home with a, an H an eight inch three three layered cake, cupcakes, twelve cupcakes, cheesecake, ice cream, Brown. cookies. Brownies, all in a day. All in a day. Wow. Yeah. Believe me, we bake in this kitchen. We've got to <laughs> use the ovens in here and the ovens in the house as well. So I have everybody running everywhere. And then on the cupcake bouquet day, we do three bouquets. We do a 12, a 7, and a 3. And then you've got two cupcakes over for yourself to take home and scoff. Albeit, we don't know what happened last class. Everybody's two separate ones went missing. Oh, so some, we don't know what happened. We've never found them. Oh. So either someone was secretly someone stopping in the, the class. class. <laughs> no, no, it was really weird. Two, what went missing? Well, everybody should have two cakes left over because they do it. We do twenty-four cupcakes, oh. so they do a twelve, a seven. That's nineteen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's twelve and seven, nineteen. Yeah. And then a three. That's twenty. 20 22 isn't yeah. it so that leaves two cupcakes two over. over doesn't it so everybody should have took two cupcakes Extras. over in the car for them to scoff on the way home so they didn't bring the bouquets we've no idea what happened but half the group didn't have their two they were missing gone <laughs> we don't know nobody could find them unless someone's made like a 13 bouquet by mistake or something <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't there <laughs> yeah. you know i could really go for a piece of cake yeah me too oh, I'm just gonna but i'm on a diet color. again and having really good. It's funny though, isn't it? Because it's like when people do click and collects and they come to the sugar and crumbs unit and people say, Oh, I bet you've got cakes all the time. They think, well, actually, no, not all yeah. the time. We're just so busy. Yeah, stop them. <laughs> we don't have that much time. <laughs> what did you do with that Molly Creatures cake? The the last one. The last one went to the unit. Oh, did the you share the, the boys? Tiger the boys had it? It. Yeah, everybody had it. Oh, did they? Yeah. I thought that you did not take it home for the No, I took it to the unit because I took the first one home, the uh, mouse went home. Yeah. 
Oh, Shelley got the other one because did you you had one once before? The first one, you? yes. So Molly's um, creature molds they should be in very soon. So we're waiting for them to come in, uh, and we're and Molly is doing one in our demonstration mornings as well. So she's doing the sixth of July morning. So we've got demonstration mornings there on Saturdays once one Saturday a month. The first one is the fifteenth of June. And on the 15th of June, it's going to be madness because we have Zoe Fancy Cakes here. And then we've got to leg it down to the other kitchen to set up to do a live there. So poor Zoe will be here on her own. <laughs> and then uh, we're doing a, an open warehouse day as well. And then on the 6th of July, Molly Robbins is in. And then I think it's me in, um, there's another date, September. Yeah. Marion Frost is in in October. And Laura, my daughter, and that's looking stunning. Laura, my daughter, is in in the November one. She's going to do fudge and marshmallows. Oh, look at Maria's face. <laughs> so go on then, just show them what you've done there. That looks beautiful. They are stunning, those. So that is stunning. All I've done is just mixed a little bit of that shadow grey with a teeny bit of black just to make a slightly darker grey, which on the base of them and that, you see you start to get a little bit more definition. So again, it's just mixing colours, getting different tones, different shades and so on and so forth and um, making it look more interesting really so it's not all just one one flat colour. That's fantastic. And it is, this is something that you... you but that is quite of. good that you've done that because it, a lot of us would just do a green leaf, yeah. wouldn't we? Yeah, but and this is where you, you experiment. You, the best way to learn is by playing with it. Sometimes I'll do things and put them together and be like, oh my God, that was a mistake, it looks awful. Other times it works out, you just you never quite know. Um, right, I'm just um, quick question for you. Natalie, apparently you have some um, sets of petal dust on your website and they were out of stock. Do you have any more or will you be getting any more? Um, that is something that we are looking to sort out. If you guys send me a message or an email or whatever and we can um, let you know what's going on with these. Um, yeah, because you sell yeah. them in little sets, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. we don't sell them in sets because we just try and keep so them. Many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, well, the reason that yeah. we do sell them yeah. in sets is because we can't we stock the whole range. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, it makes sense for you because you just do little sets for a particular colour of stuff, whereas yeah. we do the whole range. Um, another question, Sabrina says, how do you clean your white brushes? So, you can clean them in a pot of cornflour. I do not know. I've actually got you some cornflour. What is wrong with me? Because I was cleaning mine. They do, look, if I do, um, be able to see it. So that was that sort of one that I just used with the black. So if you just swish it around in the corn flour, I don't know, <laughs> I was going to say, you won't be able to see, but the corn flour takes on the colour rather than the bristles. And you have to sort of dust them off pretty well. And what you'll find is that the bristles will still be a little bit stained. They'll hold on to some of the colour, but... There's not actually oh, the dust is actually off. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must admit, I did try that earlier on today with the brushes I used last night. Yeah. That being said, you also, um, for example, if you were to use like green or black or dark blue on this, you would never get it clean enough to be able to go back to yeah. your oranges and yellows and mm -hmm. things. So That's why you're best off buying a few sets, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. There you go, buy a few sets, treat yourself. And actually, can you guys chat? I'm just going to go and wash my hands because otherwise I'm going to make an absolute <laughs> mess of this peeling. That's fine. No worries. So just to recap, if anyone's missed anything at the Facebook Live this evening or you just want to have a, a quick look back. So Natalie covered the beginning of the Facebook Live with her fantastic Immaculate Confections book one, um, which is available to purchase directly from us at Sugar and Crumbs. Um, so that was covered at the beginning of the Facebook Live. And then she just went through the details, like the colour wheel and things like that. Um, and then on to so sketches, which is also covered in the book. So things about how you choose your colours, how you lay your plans out for your cakes and things. Um, and again, that's a really useful um, tip that NASA's provided throughout the book. Um, everything's available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. So the dust, the book, um, the flower paste, the brushes, etc. All available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. Fantastic, well done. So guys, we are going to go over time, so we do want you to stay with us. <laughs> Sorry. Okay? No, we do want you to stay with us. You know, these things take a bit of time, and you know, when you're in your own home, you make multiples of these, and you can be doing other things, but because we've got to talk to you and show you, it takes a bit more time. 
So please do make sure you stay with us to the end. Um, question for you, Natalie. Um, it's from Pat, um, uh, from Pat Esp, and she wants to know what colours did you use for the yellow peony on the cake behind you? It's in my book. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, Laura, open the book. <laughs> <laughs> that, so it's, well, yellow with a yellow dust and an orangey dust. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, There's the book, Laura, in front of you. Get it open and read. I will. I just want to, someone's asking about these colours, so I just want to get these all the... We'll and what colours does Natalie have there? That's what I'm really using. So yeah. I've got um, Fractal Mandarin. Oh, it's beautiful, that one. Uh, Tuscan Limestone, which is another mm -hmm. Fractal one. Yeah. Pumpkin Bye, which is a rainbow dust one. Yeah. And Kitty Nose Pink. Oh, the Kitty Nose Pink, I love that. So, in fact, I love all those colours. I don't know why I'm going on, I love all of them. <laughs> They're all great. Yeah. The Fractal colour range is fantastic, I will have to tell you. So this is where Natalie gets clever. Are you in the camera, Natalie? Don't you be keeping that all to yourself. Tell them what you're doing now. So I just, I'm starting off, I've got a little bit of the Tuscan limestone and the pumpkin pie. And we just go in. Does that light help on the camera there? On the edge, uh, yeah, but not, yeah, just there. Otherwise it just creates a big shadow at the back. Right. And hopefully you guys Speak can up. see. Hopefully you guys can see, but it's a subtle difference, so we will get it looking more so. But it just starts to lift the edges of it and catch all of those ridges. Here we've got a lovely comment here from uh, Lucy Preston. This is better than anything on TV. I love Aww, it. Keep filming. Thanks. Yeah. So we're just going over all of that a little bit. So the dust that you actually used on there, we don't actually stock it, but you used a Squires Marriott Gold for that yellow. That's a nice yellow, that one. It's a yes. nice golden yellow. Mm. But we are going to be taking on the whole Squires range soon. So I am in talks with Squires at the moment because there's lots of their goodies that I want to bring you into our see. shop. Because we rushed, it's all a little bit floppy, but never mind, we can power through. We like floppy, don't worry. We've got... We've got a bush in the kitchen, floppy flower. Mm -hmm. What else have we had? <laughs> so I've just got. Um, I'm so loving. I've taken some of my pumpkin pie, so that pale peachy colour, and I'm just mixing in a little tiny bit of the orange to get a slightly brighter shade. See, that's quite good how you've done that there. You'd never think of doing that, would you? Have you seen what you've done there? Yeah. That, that's a really good tip. Well, the, you can mix all of them. So again, if, if you get to grips with your colour chart and get to grips with um, how to mix colours and combine them and stuff, you can actually... Just make sure you come down for the camera. There you go, yeah. You, you can do it with... Um, Sorry, Maria. Poor Maria. <laughs> this girl's a contortionist, you know. She has to get everywhere. <laughs> and then what I might do, I'm going to see how this looks, is just pop a little tiny... Oh, you see, this is where it gets clever, isn't it? Just a little bit of that pink. And you just want a tiny bit. This is this is sort of highlights and lowlights as opposed to putting on so much. Yeah, but it's changed it so much, yeah. hasn't it? It's beautiful. Um, we don't want to make it completely pink. No, but it looks fantastic. And it is, this bless it. Darren is. says, can you stay on all night? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got to get up tomorrow for work, Darren. <laughs> so I'm sorry, <laughs> but no. <laughs> That's such a good idea, just putting that pink. I like the way you put the two colours together there in the um, pumpkin pink and the, what was, what was the other uh, colour that you used? The pumpkin pie and the mandarin, yeah. was that? And then just touching it up Sorry. with that kitty nose yeah. pink is fab. So, hopefully you can see that yeah. it's sort of completely transformed it and it's a lot more detailed oh. and it's going to look really stylish. Wow, look at that. If, if I had done this on a covered cake, I would probably go for like a really pale dove grey cake with it lovely as a yeah. base rather than white. But what we have is a polystyrene dummy. <laughs> so I am very so quickly... So that's what we're going to use. <laughs> very, very quickly. And in fact, it's... Oh, look, hang on. No, let's put these away first because otherwise I'm going to make a right mess. <laughs> and none of us need that. Those. Yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way. Could you just grab that? Shows you couldn't use that colour, so that would that would ruin the colour that one. So using that, it would be about right, but don't don't wreck the. I was just thinking, you can use the back. Or do you want to use the white? Um, let's have a let's have a see. 
see. I don't know why I've gone light. Oh no, I feel terrible putting them on there. Yeah, I don't know if it'd show up as well on that because of yeah, the peach. The two colours are the same, mm. aren't they? It's more about arranging them. Yeah. So we've got the what have we got here? Because our peony is on a um, on a cocktail stick, we can stick that straight in the cake, which is partly why I do. Just show them sideways on before you push that down. Just so show them so they can see from what you're doing. That's it. It's just going straight in. You can get in there with a pair of pliers if you need to to push it in. Um, and what I might do is transfer some of our rolls of paper because, like we said, it doesn't. This is not anywhere near being completely dry, so we'll have to. Uh, so Marilyn has uh, Marilyn Heal says after dusting, would you steam them? Um, I don't tend to steam my flowers. Um, I should I, say I didn't think you did. I prefer them not going shiny. Um, which is what the steam will do. And then the other thing is, if you've got all that subtle colouring and stuff, um, the steam dissolves the powders, so you can lose some of that gentle gradient of colours and things. Yeah. Um, and it depends. The one thing I do steam sometimes would be leaves, or I'll glaze them, um, but that's if I'm looking on a particular design that wants to have yeah. sort of heavy glazed leaves. Now, I have to turn this towards me just a little bit so that and I yes, can see it. And yes, Amy, we do sell the dummies. These are 8 by 8s we do have them. I think I only had one or two left on the website, but the rest are arriving tomorrow. So I'll be updating the website tomorrow. Oh. Iris says that she could watch you 24-7. Thanks, Iris. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, she's doing well. Her daughter works for us, Karen, in the office. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what they've been on them classes. We've had yeah. a, a real hoot. Right, so I'm going to use um, this leaf here. Which can come and sit down. It's okay. I keep dropping everything. Poor Maria. How are you going to do so this, Maria? Sit down there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now you'll just hear me constantly going, Maria, there it is. It's nearly over. Right. So I've just popped a little bit of royal icing on the back of that leaf, which is going to come in and sit just there, sort of off to one side of the peony. No, no, I'm sorry, I keep bumping you. <laughs> And then I'm going to do the same with this one. It's the 8 by 8 inch um, Amy, the dummy. And yes, this whole live will be on YouTube tomorrow afternoon. Maria will be in in the morning, but she has to um, upload it. it. takes a few, she has to upload it and then download it. And then it's up to YouTube to decide then how quickly they're going to put it on our channel. So I've got a little posy pick that I'm just going to stick in there, sort of just behind the, um, the flower, so that I can then, and we've already gone over, so I'm going to keep this dead symbol. Um, if you've got a posy pick, the best thing to do is just put a teeny tiny little sausage of um, sort of fondant or flower paste in it, just because that's going to help hold on to your leaves. And then... Um, how's Maria going to get to see that? Can you see it okay, Maria? Yeah, can you do it one-handed? <laughs> With no support. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can certainly try. This is always the weird thing when you're doing stuff like this. You can't That's the do. thing when you when you try to film see it there, everybody. Doing. So Darren Jenkins says he's noticed that some of your cakes that, that we showed earlier, perfect sharp edges. What is the secret of getting those sharp edges? Um, a lot of practice. Yeah. That but those cakes are dummies, aren't they? Yeah. But you do do it on real cake because yeah, yeah. when you come into class, you always have one real cake and the rest dummies, don't you? So that people can do it. No. That's not me. That's not you, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's it, it, just an awful lot of practice. Yeah. An awful lot of practice. Um, it's one of those things. It's, I always say the, the best comparison to it is, is something like learning to knit or learning to drive. Um, when you learn to drive, first time you get in the car, it's completely overwhelming because you have to steer it and do the pedals and keep the engine yeah. and change the gears, all the rest of it. Um, trying to do all of that straight off from nothing would be impossible. So you break it down into smaller tasks and the first thing you learn to do is the pedals and you learn to be able to, you know, not stall the car. Um, and then you learn to do the next bit and the next bit until, you know, a couple of months later. It's just, just second nature, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you're not even thinking about it. So. But I will say, I think Verena's smoothers are fantastic for the job. And in fairness, she's done some lives and showed you how to get smooth edges with her, with her smoothers. And they're fantastic. 
So I reckon, guys, that we are pretty much done. I might go for just, yeah, maybe just one more leaf there, which I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cheat slightly. I'm just gonna stick it onto the cakes again, a little bit of oil icing. Just there, like that. And I think in that little box, This one single little sprig of um, buds. buds with a slightly pinkier colour. Yeah, that makes it look really good though, doesn't it? Which, if I can get them into that posy pick, it's a fairly busy posy pick now, you see. Ooh. There we go. So I'm just going to shove that in there. We do sell posy picks as well, they're not in the wish list, but if you put posy oh. pick, we do sell them in sets. No, I've changed my mind, it's too tall. Hang on. So you can, well, I'm going to bend it over, but otherwise you would chop off the bottom of the wire so that it's a better height. And now I'm going to put it in there. That's it. And just rearrange the petals. Because these are all like, because they're on wires, obviously you can bend and move Just play around with them. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a nice shape. And I reckon that at that point, this one, this face. Um, we can call it quits because everybody beautiful. needs to go to bed. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Uh, How lovely is that? Those two colours look amazing they together, are don't they? Gorgeous. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, go experiment. Play with colours. Play with different colour combinations. Play with colours of flower paste and then changing up the dust on them and stuff. Um, because it's good fun and you can make some lovely combos that you wouldn't necessarily think of. Um, if you like what you saw, do consider buying my book. We will be very grateful. Um, and it's modelled here. <laughs> um, and yeah, for, for everyone who has bought it or is going to buy it, genuinely grateful. It's self-published, which means that Chris and I funded it. I did all the work. Yes. I took all the photographs. I wrote all the words. We, we did absolutely everything. The only pictures I didn't take are the ones that I'm in, because even I can't <laughs> take <laughs> photos of myself. Exactly. <laughs> They're beautiful red roses, aren't they? Um, yeah, that, that's talking about our, yeah. our colour combos again. Um, so yeah, we really, really are very grateful because it was a labour of love. There is a piece of my soul in every single one of them. And you know what? You can feel um, that. Yeah. Thank you. You can feel that. No, <laughs> seriously, it is. it's such a beautiful book. I'm not just saying um, it. I don't even make flowers, but I just, as soon as I saw the book, I was like, oh my God, I want one. And she had a few samples and what I tried to do to try and nick that sample book. Oh, we gave and, you one uh, in the end. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> yeah. This is it. So, <laughs> so I got one in um, the end in Germany. <laughs> but um, it's an absolutely fabulous book and it's very reasonably priced as well at £20. For those guys who've already got one at home, there is a little amendment. Chris is going to be posting those out to you. It won't be tomorrow because they're travelling back down south, but I would assume you will be doing it on Thursday. Very, Very soon. Week, yeah. Very soon. So he's going to put those out. And for the books that are still in the warehouse, they've already had the amendment put in. So it's just a little typo, but it's a very important point. And it's very good that Natalie has actually spotted yeah. it. She's chose not to ignore it. She wants you guys to have the best from the book, which is fantastic. So this is on the website. So um, our website, go on, Laura. <laughs> Once more. So, <laughs> sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. You can either search by brand, which is Natalie Paul's Immaculate Confections, or head over to the Facebook Live wish list, and everything is on there that we've used tonight, including the brushes, set of four, the pink pad, which I'm just going to show you now, 5.99. The green support pad is showing out of stock, but we will have them in. No, they're in stock. Oh, yeah. right. We brought them up tonight. We have got them, so we have them got stock the floor and the singles. Yeah. Um, and they are also in the full um, rose and peony bundle yeah. as well that we sell yeah. on the website. Because yeah. some of you have bought cutters when Natalie has sold them as individuals, um, so you can buy this on its own. But Natalie does a, a full bundle, which is $29.99, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, but it's, 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 it's a fab <laughs> bundle. And uh, we stock that as well, and uh, they're all, all in stock as well. But I forgot to put them on the website. Sorry about that. So I'll go and do that afterwards straight away. Um, so everything is there, colours are there. Not everything is in the wish list because the wish list is jammed packed with lots of new products. And I'm not going to go through the new products with you because I did a live on them last night. Go over to last night's live and watch the new products there. Uh, even though you do see me do a bit of a demo. 
and they're on camera. Thanks, John. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I just want to say a massive thank you for Chris and Natalie driving up. They have come a long way. Where have you come from? Uh, London, more or less. Just so. to show you these things. Yeah. Well worth a pat on the back. So they've come up. They're at back off home tomorrow. So I just want to say a big thank you for you joining us. And have we got, when's our next live now? What have we got? Have we got anything this week? No. No. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit scatty because we've got loads of things going on. So let me just tell you what else we've got going on. Next week, we have got Marion Frosting from Patchwork Cutters. She's got some new number cutters. I will get them on the website. And you know what? I think I'll go and put them on the website tonight because I have got them. They've been with me for a week, really, and I just haven't put them on. I keep thinking to do it. So she's going to demo them and show you those. And um, that's next Monday night. On Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock, we've got Renshaw in and they're bringing over a lovely lady I've not met her before she's called Reva Alexander Hawk and she's going to be doing buttercream flowers so that'd be brilliant for you but so you can ask buttercream questions and um, that's an 11 o'clock live and then we're fine then we um on the following week we're really very busy so we've got the um what's the date Jerry. we've got Jerry in on the 10th Okay, and I'll give Laura the good news and Ray that they're doing free sessions because we've got Amy Sweet Stamps coming over. Now, Amy, because she's coming over for Ireland, we're going to do a jam packed. We're going to get as much out of Amy as we can. And Rosie Cake Divas come in. And so we're going to do two lives that week. So on the week of the 10th, there's going to be three lives. So we've got Jerry in on the Monday. jerry has been in the kitchen before. She's a fabulous lady, loads of fun and has always showed you about the cake lace. And I'm hoping she's doing cake lace again, but who knows? We always leave it down to them to show you. But on the 12th, Amy Sweet Stamps will be in and she'll be in on the 13th as well. So that's two lives and that's because there's four of them come in and they're going to show you loads of things, loads of different ideas, loads of different creative skills. And did any of you see that video I put on this week where they used, um, they, they liquid, liquid, liquidated, they made the, uh, the dust really liquidy and put it in a syringe and then filled in the uh, sweet stamps with it. It was amazing. I just kept watching it time and time again. I showed it to Maria today. She's like, that. that's great. So uh, they're going to show you how to do that as well. So we've got an action packed June. Um, I have got classes on Saturday and Sunday. So we're going to pop up with John and the camera. Great fun. He'll be showing you a little bit of what we do on Saturday and Sunday. We're not going to show you how we do it, but we're going to show you what they've made. And then we've got another class. I'm work I don't know when I'm going to stop working because I've also got two classes next weekend as well. Um, so we'll be doing lives then. Yes, as Maria said. <laughs> and then on the 15th of June and the 16th of June, we've got Zoe Fancy Cakes in. And Zoe is in doing her characters class. There's one space left available available on that and she's doing her bride and groom let me show you a bride and groom so the bride and groom is so beautiful so she's doing the bride and groom and on the day you can actually adapt it the hair colors to somebody you know I do know somebody's coming on this class and she's making it for a nephew if I remember so she's going to base it on her nephew and his uh, bride so uh, but this is a fantastic class so um, she's in on the 15th and 16th of June and on the 15th is our first social morning and we're doing a live there as well so you can either come to the kitchen uh, which is our higher kitchen you can come there and uh, be a member of the audience and have a coffee and a cake and watch the demo and then you can have a tour around the warehouse what's up Laura what every up she's now? going there she wants to go home now she's bored <laughs> so I've got to speed up as fast as I can and say thanks very much <laughs> She's doing her job pacing the kitchen. But I'm just trying to tell you, we're only up to the 15th of June and how much have we got to show you? Lots and lots of things. So stick with us, guys. So we're going to go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Laura. All right. Bye, Laura. No, no, no. Let's Laura's say bye press... in a nice way now. Okay. Uh, Thank yeah. you for watching, everybody. <laughs> we really appreciate it. For sure to go. get rid of you, but <laughs> I'm up at half five. <laughs> Let's go back to work. <laughs> Yeah, well, we, we leave for work, so we're getting work for seven in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> thanks, that's I'm mean, not tomorrow. I'm having a lion tomorrow as well. Uh, Good. Thanks, so, guys. thanks very much. So, we will see you Saturday night. night. No, Saturday night and Sunday oh, night. Yes. yes. After Sorry. baking. You will. See you soon. Bye. Bye.